You have to make a movie in Hollywood. What movie do you want to make? I'm going to make one. I want to make The Machine. And he goes, yeah, why didn't you pitch that? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought you were coming in to pitch. And I said, because I, I don't know, Cam, I'm afraid it'll do really well and I'll get kidnapped by the f***ing mafia. And his f***ing eyes light yeah. up like someone brought a bottle exactly. of rosé in the room. And he goes, sold. So uh, I, I, everyone was asking me, uh, <laughs> what do you want the like what are your, what are your expectations for the movie like opening weekend? I go financially and I go honestly 152 million. <laughs> <laughs> Reasonable, yeah. And and I didn't know what that was. Yeah. And then someone goes, You mean like bigger than Maverick? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be really good. <laughs> and then and then uh <laughs> And then they put it in perspective, and I was like, okay, but if we do 152 million, <laughs> yeah, which I'm looking at, yeah, a, yeah, a, sure, yeah, 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 that's our threshold. Yeah, yeah. I've got some big, I got some big PT Barnum stuff I want to pull out week of. Like <laughs> that's I said, what I'm talking about. I, yeah, I that's what we need. I told Leanne, I said I'm checking into rehab uh, the day before, right after Rogan. <laughs> she goes, what? And I said, I'm gonna fucking pull some Dave Chappelle, run to South Africa. Where's Bert? <laughs> Fuck no. What's going on? And uh, and she. Uh, uh, then I'll go buy that house in Serbia. I'm going to buy the house I stayed in. You're going to buy it and then just it. move there? And, and, and I'll have that as my vacation spot. I think that's a good call. I think yeah, that's next a good to life move. One of the biggest drug dealers in Serbia <laughs> and down the street yeah. from the biggest violinist in Serbia. Yeah. And the embassies are right there. I got, got so hooked here. up with that and house. And Cousin A can keep the uh, fridge stocked. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least find ice. Do you remember, do you remember how hard it was yeah. to find ice? We'll get, we'll get I, Tasha we had <laughs> such an issue with ice that we knew the ice guy in Serbia. We knew him. Like, they, look, I, look. Then to be fair, they, I also have ice guy. I have a nice guy in in L.A. That's like, man, you really tear through ice. <laughs> but, but that was our biggest challenge on the movie. Was, our biggest, yeah, we were cold. we were like solving logistical issues related to ice. No, we mostly. couldn't chill the rosé properly. <laughs> the, the best was cousin A. Uh, that first time we had people over, yeah, and he, <laughs> he bought five jars of olives. That's right. <laughs> That's right. He bought five you, jars of olives, and these were like these were solid, <laughs> like eight inch. Like big ass jars of olive, and I went, "Ooh, that's a lot of olives." <laughs> and he goes, "He goes, martinis." <laughs> I said, "Do we have all the stuff to make martinis?" He goes, "Vodka." And I said, well, "Like vermouth and stuff." And he goes, "I mean, you can do. You can do. I think you just do it straight with olives." And I go, okay. And so, but everyone came in, saw those five jars lined up of olives, and everyone went, "That's a lot of olives." <laughs> kept going martinis and then he would he would almost willfully every day have like 10 olives just to try to work <laughs> yeah, through no, those just olives. to show how much he liked them like i oh, know i'm really they're good i'm glad we have them he was a really interesting i don't think i knew what i was signing up for uh but when there was there was so much to my cousin andrew is who we're talking about and he's gonna listen to this so and I know, I know, but I, and so I'm, I'm not talking shit, Andrew, you know, I love you, but there is, he is such an interesting person to choose. I, I did not know what I was signing up for to choose to live with. For Was that your first time spending that much time with him all at oh, once? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's, and, and now, now, so, uh, washers and dryers aren't the same in, uh, <laughs> in foreign countries as they are in the United States. True. I think they run on electric as opposed to ours run on gas. True. So it's really hard to dry clothes. So every, it was just difficult to dry clothes. So I come up, I put in a load of laundry one night and then I come up and all my laundry is folded on my bed and it's <laughs> soaking wet. <laughs> and I go, hey buddy, hey. what, uh, is yeah. this clothes dry? And he goes, cold dry. I said, I said, what? He goes, it's a cold dry. They do a cold dry here. <laughs> go, what do you mean? He goes, it's a cold dry. They, they're like, it's like they're cold. They're really cold. Come out cold. I go, I think these are wet. He goes, ah, cold. <laughs> he was, he was, he, he was so, it was such a fascinating, and, and I have to say, such an integral part such a silently integral part to making this movie. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Because he was so he was so fucking committed. Yeah, and he and he loves movies. He, mm -hmm. I mean, he loves movies more than anything in the world. And and every morning we get up and get to like that 
25 minute drive out to the studio and he would wake up and he would have perused the script and picked yeah. it apart and been like, like, I don't know, man, would you say also, this? Would he's you say also this? sneaky funny. So. No, really, totally. Oh, Super really funny. fucking Super funny. funny. And possibly the funnest dude to ever see get a COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're totally right. We right. we enjoy. I mean, by the end of the thing, here's the things. I, I there's so many traits to Andrew. Kind of a pussy are, too. Oh, when with COVID when it comes test? to COVID test, yeah. Tell me about a lot of things. <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Game day, game day, baby. I mean, he was he was so. It, we had to get COVID tests like every other day. He'd pull back. He'd yeah. pull back. So <laughs> He, the, I'll tell you one thing that, like, if not one thing, there's a lot I, I wish I could do that Andrew did. But one thing that was amazing is he was great with everyone's name. He, mm -hmm, yes. The second he met someone, he knew their name and he knew yep. their nickname in Serbian. True. And he had, and he had like secret handshakes with everyone. True. Every, every, he, I, he is really good at personal relay. He belongs on a movie set. I don't know how I get him yeah. on movie sets for the rest of his life, yeah. but he yeah. belonged. He really thrived on a movie set. He also has a very Serbian mentality, though, because there is a dark and storminess about Andrew that I yeah. think the Serbians were like, you're one of us. Like, yeah, there we was. like you. There was like an interesting darkness that they responded to. He one time, the night after the, uh, and I was talking to Jimmy Tatro about this, the night after the cabaret club. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that, that night. That, that, mm -hmm. night. <laughs> that was the eight hundred dollar tab. That was eight thousand dollars. That was my. By the way, <laughs> Andrew. Andrew, has, <laughs> Andrew has, has, has like bone of contention Andrew of this. Just this, is, this is good. <laughs> yeah. he, he, has a, he has a bone of contention about this. To this we day. ordered. We literally ordered eight thousand dollars of rosé. I should have. I should have definitely invited Andrew to be over on this because he was. He was at every fucking turn of the way. We. This is the. This Jimmy sent. Jimmy sent this. This video. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. when they tried yeah. to, When they just gave us fireworks. That was amazing. Oh, it was God. absolute chaos. And then when the Joker put the ladder, oh, we that guy. climb over. We went from being persona non grata to getting the best seats in the house <laughs> to then giving, they give us fireworks yeah. with fake money. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kale tried to assault the Joker. Oh, I, Kale I, tried to jump a, over the edge. That was a big part of the night. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. was yeah. just accosting. Jared Leto. So one, one of the, oh, that's one Joker. Of the, it was, it was right. Jared Leto Joker. I vaguely yeah. remember that. One of the one of the <laughs> one of the funny parts about that was is uh is I mean this is the best. Is I I had paid for uh, a big dinner at one point and Peter was like next what, thing we do I got and I was like okay <laughs> so in my head I was like Peter's gonna pick this up <laughs> and this is a this is a. This is a call the wife kind of tab. I mean, it's yeah, like, it's yeah, like yeah. giving you a heads up. It you're going to see this coming through the, down the line. It was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I get in the car the next morning and I, and I'm like hung over shit. Andrew, it's the first time I've seen him visibly hung over. And he goes, I go, uh, last night was fucking crazy. He goes, yeah, I know. I go, I can't imagine what that tab is. He goes, I got it. <laughs> I said, you got it? And he goes, I got it. I said, what do you mean? What do you mean you got it? And he goes, I picked it up. I go, Andrew, you can't afford that. And he goes, well, obviously you're paying for it. <laughs> I go, hold on. Then I got it? And he goes, well, yeah, we got it, right? And I went, no, what, you got to run that by me, Andrew. And he goes, I, don't, I mean, I just figured we were paying for it. And I was like, what? Just put, what do you mean? And he goes, they just came out of the building. He goes, I'll take care of it. <laughs> and then he goes, it wasn't that bad. I go, really? And he goes, no, it wasn't that bad. It was like $600. I went, it was $600? And he goes, yeah, it was 600 bucks. Not a big deal. I've tipped the guy extra. And I go, $600? That's so interesting. And then he gets to work and he goes, all right, man, I, I misread the zeros on that. God, man, I'm, right. I'm going to teach you to pick this up now. I think we're liquidating my bank account. Yeah. <laughs> he was the funniest oh, fucking was... guy. It was, I, I would tell you what, I don't know the right way to, I know we started this podcast. I don't know the right way to talk about this podcast, but uh, it was the funnest experience I've ever had in my life. I, and I did not expect to like yeah. it. I did not know what to expect. I didn't think I'd ever give a fuck. Wait, about you doing didn't movies. expect to like it? I did. I thought I was going to be insecure the entire time. Really? Wow. Well, then my first day there, I said to Kale, I said, uh, we went out to dinner the first night I can go out. I think I went over to your hotel. I mm -hmm. think Leanne might have been over there. And mm -hmm. uh and you you were like, uh, 
you want to get a bottle of wine? And I was like, eh, I'm not drinking. And Kale goes, whoa, 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 what's this? What's this? What's going on here? I said, I want to be like sober and present for the movie. He goes, that's not who we hired. That's not who we hired. <laughs> and Kale gave me the best advice uh, that I'll take to, I will take this to, ev- to and he goes, I right, look, I've, I've worked on a lot of projects, okay? You can't decide, you can't, you can't tell if something's going to be good or not, okay? What you can tell is if you have a good time on it. And if you have a good time, it's going to be great. Because if you have a good time, it's going to show. And if you're sitting here white knuckling, not drinking for three months in Serbia, it's going to be a boring fucking project. So why don't you go have a bottle of wine? Let's have a good time. I went, fuck it. Let's get a bottle of wine. And I took that every night. I was like every, I mean, it was the fucking. And so I just simply dialed into everything I wanted to enjoy. Like going, I remember going to the mall with Andrew. We'd go to the mall and I'd buy new tracksuits. Yeah. And I would be like, it wasn't that expensive. It was my treat to myself. And I'd wear them to set. And then, or or doing the wine tasting yeah. at the house. Or doing the DJ party with the karaoke. Like, just going like, I want to make this fun as shit yeah. for yeah. everything. And, that, and and man. And, and it was. I have to say, I should let you guys talk a little bit. But, like, uh, my biggest concern was w- working with you. Because I was like, Peter... Because I was like, I need a lot of praise in order to do something right. And you were so fucking good at that. You were like so good at like taking care of my ego in, in, I mean, the first, the first thing we did yeah. was the thing in the, uh, the, the therapy, in therapy, therapy yeah. Yeah, yeah, therapy. and you were like, yeah, yeah. and you came in, you're like fucking nailed it. And I went, huh? Yeah. And you're like, it's great, man. I mean, we really actually got it. We a have a why we got it. And I was like, yeah. hold on for real. And you're like, yeah. And. I was like, whoa. And then Leanne came in. Cause I think Leanne was there and Leanne's like, they're in the tent that you really got it. And I was like, for a, I'm, am I, do, am I can act. And Leanne's like, oh yeah, you can act. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh fuck. Oh my God. I was so terrified. No. Yeah. And then, uh, and that was the, like, and then like, I, I, my only thing I still figured, don't think I understand about movies is like when, like, I want to watch Jonah Hill work. Cause I want to know when you're supposed to improv. Because, like, I would improv mm-hmm. on whatever scene. Right, yeah. And then that's the scene you use. But, like, I want to see, like, a master of it. Like, when does he pick to improv on his on his singles? Uh, there's no real rules. I mean, I think it's just kind of like if the moment feels right and, you know, usually there's a conversation about it or it's like, hey, this this is kind of, like, let's play with this. Or, yeah. You know, but you always know, like, this is the goal. This is where we're trying to get. This is the intention. And then people can find their own way get into that, you know? What did... Was like this is going to be a weird question, but why did you decide to do the project? That's a good question. Uh, I read the script. Uh, it was a very different script. Um, a very talented writer, Scotty Landis, did the first pass at this movie, um, and then I got it from Kale. And I was like, I don't quite get this script, but I knew the story, and I was like, I like Bert as just a fan. I love the story that he tells and there's definitely something here, but I wasn't sure until I met with you. Remember that zoom that we did? We did like a two hour zoom. Yeah. And I, I just asked you like, tell me the real story. Tell me everything that happened. Let me ask questions. And it was through you talking about it and then talking about it and kind of talking about it in a way different than you do on stage and getting a little bit more into like, what it was really like emotionally to go through that and live through that experience. That was really interesting to me. Cause I was like, okay, great. Here's a story I know a lot of people know. And then there's this whole other side to it that I think is really cool and isn't talked about, isn't part of the story. And then also we started just talking about like our families and our lives and our careers and being a dad and just being someone who there's expectations from other people of what you're supposed to be like. And I was like, man, there's a lot here that's really interesting. And then we found Kevin Beagle and Kevin Beagle wrote a new draft that was just, that put all of that stuff. I literally sent him a recording of our zoom call and I was like, go nuts. Like we talked about a ton of shit, like find a way forward. And he came back and pitched a new story that incorporated a ton of that stuff. That's right. That first and script wasn't what we. It was did. totally different because totally because different. we did we talked about our dads. Yeah, right? and we have we have we have interesting dads who were yeah. like who were like men. Yeah, and then they gave birth to us. Yeah. And then they were a little confused on how to raise <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah, they, they had some issues. They were like, I don't quite know what to do with this person in front of me. And yeah. then uh, that led to some conflict. Yeah. Yeah. And so Can't it was like, shirt off, huh? and, and to Kevin's credit, I didn't 
get arrive at like, oh, it should be him and his dad on the adventure. And Kevin was the one who was like, well, why isn't the dad kidnapped with yeah. him? And it was like, oh, that's that's it. That's yeah. great. That was How the, biggest, better... the biggest narrative. Move. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that was Kevin that brought that to the table 100 percent He pitched that you, me, Mary yeah. on We're that like, call. Like, and fuck, why didn't we think of that? It was like, yeah, it was like right there in front of us. And it was like, oh shit, that's that's it. And then it just all And it certainly it, tapped into a lot of the things that you talk about. Exactly. No, it was based so off of that conversation. You and I talking about our dads. He was yeah. like, Bert's dad should be in the movie and should be on this adventure with him. And it was just like, yeah, great. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that just changed everything. And then it became so much about like that brought the character journey into light, which for me, it's always like, if there's a way to tell a great character story, if I get invested in a person, if I see the world through somebody else's eyes, that like empathy connection, I'm, that's always what I'm looking for. And then we can make it fun. We can make it crazy. We can yeah. have big comedy, big action, go nuts with it. But there's still that like core character story that hooks me. That's the weird part about the movie is that uh, like, I, I think, as we were making it, I kept saying, I don't think anyone is expecting this to be the movie we're making. No. But you you knew that, like, at the beginning, Kale. Yeah. Like, what was, do you, do you know, Did have, have I told you the story of how this movie got sold? I think so, but you it's should my, tell it's, it again. It's my. Because it's great. It's so funny now that I know you, Kale. I, and I know you intimately. <laughs> like, I, I know how you operate. <laughs> Like it, it's so hilarious <laughs> because it is so kale. Yeah. Is we went in and I was pitching, I was pitching, uh, I was pitching three movies. So, and I was done pitching the machine. I was, we had gone to S Lionsgate maybe, or, or so, maybe Sony and pitched. So we, I don't even know how it works, but we pitched these three and, and the way, whoever we pitched to was like, I like, I really like two of them. And I was like, oh, cool. And then I tightened those up and I pitched them to Kale with Judy. And Kale just goes, all right, I'll make one. And I went, what? And he goes, I'll make one. Which one do you want to make? And I go, uh, what do you mean? Which one do you want to make? He goes, gonna, okay, you have to make a movie in Hollywood. What movie do you want to make? I'm going to make one. I, go, I don't want to make any of these three. <laughs> he goes, well, why not? I said, I don't know. I goes, if you're telling me I can make a movie, I want to make the machine. And he goes, yeah, why didn't you pitch that? Because <laughs> that's what I thought you were coming in to pitch. And I said, because I, I don't know, Cam, I'm afraid it'll do really well and I'll get kidnapped by the fucking mafia. And his fucking eyes light up like someone brought a bottle exactly. of rosé in the room. And he goes, sold. Great. That's the sold, that's the movie. And he goes, Godmother 2 meets The Hangover. Yeah. Let's get this done. Judy, line it up. I'm so excited. And yeah. I went, I walked out of the room. I go, I don't know what the fuck we just sold. Yeah. And he goes, it's flashback scenes. Godfather 2. We got young Bert. And that's how we tell the original story. And then we got new Bert. And it's a new story. If you get yeah. kidnapped by the mafia, I love it. I love it. And I thought, I, I remember, this is how out of touch I am. You came over with a bottle of Blanton's. And, uh, and, uh, and I, and you, came over to my house and you opened it and you said, congrats, we're making a movie. I went, huh? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, we're making a movie. I'm going to Serbia like yeah. tomorrow. And I go, are you, you're going to go there. What are you, are you going to scout? Yeah. You go, no, I'm going we're to go going to the to offices. Be there. Yeah. Yeah. I said, wait, what do you mean? You go, we're making a movie. And I went, hold on, we're making the movie? Yeah. Like I didn't understand any of the process. Kind of someone said to me, what's the key to making a movie in Hollywood? And I said, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I go, do not say a fucking word. I go, just let the, everyone do their jobs, <laughs> shut your fucking mouth, and get it. I remember yeah. Leanne goes, Leanne was like, Leanne read the script before we were about to go, and she goes, I don't know, is the script ready? I go, who gives a fuck? <laughs> go, I'm going to serve you for three months. I go, what are you going to fucking God. chime in with notes right now, lady? It's it's go time. We're, uh -huh. I get my passport shined. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it happened. And it happened quick on this one, too. It did, I, I remember. This I was... was uh, this was a, it, uh, they don't all happen this fast. Yeah. And then. Yeah, it snapped together. I remember yeah. when I was doing the reshoots. Yeah, um, I mean, I met on it. The first time I read anything was August of 2020 and February of 21, I was on a plane to yeah. Serbia. So, it, I mean, that's fast. Do you do a full, like, page one rewrite, 
get it through the well, process. Well, Beagle turned it around quickly. By quick. The way, so. He was and, quick. Yeah. And and no, there's just a, He was a gangster. It. He fucking did totally. turn around things quick. That's why I like writers yeah. who know who come from TV. They know it's, how to move fast. Speed is essential. Yeah. And yeah I've, and I've worked and, with some what, and, some and slower writers, and I'm always like, no. no. When no. somebody's like, there's a window. window. Every movies. movie has a window. Yeah. And you and our job is to understand when that window avails itself. You said something that has stuck with me, which is it's all about fear. In Hollywood, if oh, yeah. people are afraid that they will screw up if they don't make something, they're going to make it. Yeah, correct. And that was totally the energy on this. It was like, yes. okay, it feels like like it's ready to go. Like, and you've got a position. Now we got to go. Kind of feel that. Yeah, you know? no, was, and then that's part of understanding kind of when that when that window, you know, avails itself, and having a director who's saying the right things and a writer who knows how to kind of deliver on that vision. If they can do it quickly, you know, you have a really good shot. And we had, you know an actor and a performer in you who's fucking fearless, which is your, yeah. your superpower. Yeah. I don't know. If, yeah. Well, well, I know you feel you. it. Yeah, I mean, you have trepidation and stuff, but it I'm doesn't just saying, come out and it doesn't do. come out at all. Yeah, and right. it doesn't come out. Like I know what was going on behind the scenes, but, but that first week of shooting after the first four days, once we got to that house, wherever yeah. we were and we really watched you we operate through, I, I was, I was like, Oh fuck, we're, we're fine. Yeah. We're yeah. fine. And that was, that was some of the stuff between you and Mark in that little shed. Yeah. And that, I thought that was beautiful, but it was also you and uh, Jess, uh, a lot of that yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. I the scene was, where him and Jess yelling and at each other. And I was like, was you had great. so many levels and I was totally. like, fuck, you're doing things that I didn't think you were going to be able to do. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, oh, you were also, I, you were accessing kind of some of the stuff that was going on in your life, <laughs> which is kind of the beauty of what the movie is. I, because, remember, <laughs> I remember Peter comes in after we do the one scene and I go, I go, I, mean, I hopefully you're seeing the movie and, and I'm not spoiled. I don't know. We're putting this out the week of, how, when does this come out? Uh, the week after. The week after. Perfect. Perfect. So you've seen the movie. Yeah. So when I'm, I, when we get in the fight and I run to the thing, uh, Peter was like you pulled Jess aside and you go I need I I don't know what I don't know what you said to her but you said I this needs to be a I was making it a fun fight you know and you're yeah. like this needs to be a real fight yeah, yeah 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 and you said you need to you need to let him know how let down in you him you are and I, and she I only can act when oh. other people act she did this she, she like welled up oh. tears in her eyes and I yeah. went and I and I fucking all of a sudden, I started getting getting teary eyed. Yeah. I was like, "Don't do that!" And I, and I was saying that in a real, like, "Don't do that." Yeah. And then I started crying. Use it. Yeah. And then I and then we're fighting for real. And I start crying. And I ran right to the man cave. Yeah. And I couldn't stop crying. And Peter comes in. That was great. And I go, you give me a second? <laughs> and he's like, "Wait, are you really fighting with your daughter?" I go, "I think I am." <laughs> no, that was that was take two. That's yeah. in the movie. That was the yeah. best take. Yeah. I mean, it was just like that doesn't was that doesn't powerful. happen often. Oh well, no. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened often in this fucking movie? <laughs> no, I cried so much in this no. fucking movie. Yeah, I know. Because I, and I was like, I was like, it's, at one point, I was like, I gotta fucking. And then you know, I haven't stopped crying since then. As soon as I learned how to cry in that movie, <laughs> I've been crying. The, people think I go on podcasts. All I do is cry these days. Oh my god! I think you're now we're opening hey, part we two. The, We've opened the, it up. Uh, We've opened it up. It's it's, it's now it's one. raw. The um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious, and I, I think it's 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 worth talking about your both of your processes because you guys work very, very, very differently. <laughs> like, I, like I, I tell you right now, I never want your job, Peter. I never want your job. I never. I would jokingly say oh, it would be cool to direct one day, and then I watched you direct, yeah. and I went, "I'll never direct. I have no interest in that. That fuck that, <laughs> fuck that." Like you had, I remember walking in and you had a table full of pocket knives. <laughs> yeah, picking picking and the you knives. You had a table full of trinkets. <laughs> you had a table full of, you oversaw every single fucking detail mm -hmm. of that. If you're a director, and even still having said that, there's points in the movie where that they got overlooked because it was like a Serbian thing versus an American thing. There were some there were some gaps. There were yeah, some gaps. We had some gaps. There were we some, some oh, by some, the way I got we had I, some tough days. I, I should give you this I, I I should did you grab the uh the other bottle too? This is for you, Peter, by the way. I what? want you to have this. I got you a bottle of Blanton's. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's my just, God. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you brought that it is... for me and I I, oh, I wanted to get you something before you shot Thank your next you. movie. 
That's incredible. That's no, my yeah. favorite. That's my favorite bourbon. I know, there. I know. I didn't realize Thank how you. good it was. We drank the whole fucking bottle in one sitting. Oh, and yeah, you were right. like, and you, I remember you looking like, should we slow down? And I was like, no, but let's kill it. <laughs> and you're like, okay, say the top, say the top. <laughs> but um, your process was so extensive. Yeah, I get into the details for sure. For I remember sure. my favorite. I mean, my favorite thing were the subtle differences in Serbian versus American. You'll, you'll never see this. We could, I don't think we could use it. Hopefully, you'll be able to catch it. It's Easter eggs in the movie. <laughs> we do this scene with Stephanie in the bedroom, and and uh, and I. I the are you on is, the bed? Or you by, no, or I go, you I go the to the closet. closet. closet? closet. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I know where you're going. And all of a sudden, Peter goes. <laughs> <laughs> How many shirts do we have in this closet? <laughs> so I remember this. There yeah, were yeah, five yeah. shirts in the closet. Yeah. It was a, a fairly limited. <laughs> yeah, you had a moment. For, for yeah. yeah. And yeah, they're yeah. like. That was a little tough. Yeah. That and then the, the costumes come in and they go, <laughs> the set design, they're like, is it good five shirts? And you're like, who the fuck has five shirts? I'm like, five shirts? Did he just move in? Like, what is, has he been traveling? What's going on? Like, why? Man is a closet. He needs, like, 50 shirts. We gotta, like we gotta up the shirt. 50 shirts. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, they go, no, no, five. You got five. Five shirts. I'm like, oh. The first day. It was a minor cultural difference. The other one. The other one. And I'm so sorry if you're Serbian and you're hearing this and you don't find this as funny as I do. There's so many of these. Mm-hmm. Is uh, I had my outfit. I had one outfit that I wore the whole fucking movie, and it was and the shoes were uh, Stan Smiths, green Stan Smiths. So we green light the outfit. And me and the outfit. Everyone looks at it. Looks great. And then we get there the first day, and the shoes are covered in fucking mud. <laughs> I walk up and I go look at them. I go, what happened to the shoes? And they're like, your tennis shoes. And I go, these are really dirty. Is there a backstory? Like, have I been like doing yard work? <laughs> it's been raining in L.A. a lot in our movie. Yeah. And they go, this is how shoes look. This is our shoes. And I go, I go, I mean, they look like I should throw them away. And they go, no, they're your shoes. They, you put on shoes. These are your shoes. So I go over to Peter. I walk on set. And Peter goes, what the fuck's up with these shoes? <laughs> and I go, what? And Kale goes, oh my God. <laughs> what? Were you, you like taking care of barnyard animals? And I go, yeah, the shoes are dirty as fuck, right? And then Peter goes, oh, hold on. Yeah. Everyone take a look at their shoes. Yeah. And we only Americans are the ones that rock crisp tennis shoes yeah. everywhere they go. Everyone else has yeah. a pair of shoes. And one they pair every and single they wear day. it until it like falls apart and yeah. then they get a new pair. It's a thing yeah. of privilege where you're like, Yeah. So then we had to explain like in this movie, I think this guy <laughs> Yeah, this guy can afford a few pairs of shoes. Gotta open up the world a little bit. Yeah. It was uh yeah, it was an interesting process sometimes. Dude, those were my favorite little like <laughs> subtleties of like when I was doing uh like halfway through the movie, I was like, Hey, are you cutting you wanna have a cigar kill? Or you wanna smoke a joint kill? <laughs> kill go for it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean there's I've got weed, I've got hey, you wanna if we can open a bottle of we can open a bottle of rose and have a glass like adults. We are supported by Black Buffalo. It is May, and May is all about your rituals and honoring your rituals. Man, I am a ritual guy. When I fly, I have rituals. When I hang with my friends at a campfire, I got rituals. I got rituals, and man, I am a tobacco guy. I'll tell you that right now. If you're 21 and older, using nicotine or tobacco, check out award-winning tobacco alternative, Black Buffalo. It's everything you love about dip. Nothing you don't, no compromise. Long cut and pouches made from edible green leaves and food-grade ingredients, both with and without pharmaceutical-grade nicotine. Black Buffalo comes in the classic flavors like wintergreen, mint, straight peach, even blood orange. Their pouches have won multiple awards from industry publications. They're Black Buffalo's best-performing products. All products are proudly made in the USA exclusively for 21-plus adult consumers of nicotine or tobacco Black Buffalo sells their product online and ships directly to your front door on blackbuffalo.com. You can use promo code BERT for 15% off your first order. Black Buffalo also sells their products in thousands of retailers across the United States. Check out their store locator to find a location near you. With it, I just found out that Black Buffalo is at almost every a.m. p.m. near me. We were just having a conversation at dinner the other day with my my buddy, uh, my buddy Baker, 
and he pulled out Black Buffalo, and he was like, yeah, man, I have a hard time finding it. I, was, I felt like I did the ad for him. I go, you can check out their store, store locator at blackbuffalo.com. They're almost every AM, PM. He's like, wait, how do you know this? Because I honor my rituals. Honor your rituals with Black Buffalo. Warning. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Black Buffalo products are intended for adults age 21 and older who are consumers of nicotine or tobacco. This podcast is brought to you by Omaha Steaks, man. This weekend, this weekend, I had Leanne's family over. My family over and my buddy Mike Calta, Cowhead from Tampa. And we were like, yo, what do we want to eat? And Leanne's like, do we have any Omaha steaks? Man, it is such a good feeling to know that you're stocked in your freezer with Omaha steaks. I went in, I pulled out uh, a bunch of fillets. God, the fillets are perfect. Literally, I'm telling you, one fillet is good for one person. But what I do is I grill them all up, I then slice them, and then people grab pieces. Their fillets are so damn tender. Look, with Father's Day right around the corner, what do you give the man who has everything? Well, the Father's Day experts at Omaha Steak have made it easy to put a smile on the big guy's face this summer with hand-selected packages. Head over to omahasteaks.com, use promo code BIRD at checkout, and get $30 off your qualifying order. Packages can include fork tender, bacon-wrapped filet mignons. Those are really great. Those are really great. Or other gourmet grillables like air-chilled boneless chicken breasts. Awesome burgers great jumbo franks arguably the best jumbo frank you'll ever have in your entire life and i'm not fucking around when i say that i'm being dead serious their franks are like amazing and don't forget to save room for dessert man leanne pulled out at the end of the night she goes it was such a gangster move she goes i'm gonna make caramel apple tartlets because most gift packages come with four delicious caramel apple tartlets and we have tons of them we bought a bunch of gift packets God, I'm getting hungry just talking about this. Also, check out the other hand-selected packages that are guaranteed to make Dad's day. Because if there's one thing we know, is that Dad wants steaks. Whether he's your father, father-in-law, or father figure, he's the guy who was always ready to step up when you needed him the most. This Father's Day, show him the love with the only gift that's un- as unforgettable as he is. The mouth-watering perfection of Omaha Steaks. From perfectly aged, oh-so-tender steaks to hand-selected gift packages, Omaha Steaks makes it easy to give dad what he really wants. Order today and get $30 off with promo code BERT. And every purchase is backed by their unconditional money-back guarantee. Minimum orders may be required. See site for details. We can open a bottle of rosé and have a glass like adults. You're Let's allowed. Just do it. Let's just do it. You're we'll allowed. Yeah. It. We've, we've crossed. Um, <laughs> Let's pretend it's 9 p.m. Yeah, it's 9 p.m. What's, I'm on Bulgaria, you're flying, Bulgaria you're time flying already. Upside down, I'm going so to, you're fine. Yeah, I'm going to Bulgaria, so I'm already on Bulgaria time. It. Can you read it? Oh, it's not the one you want. That says... Uh, the one I want. No, no, I have a fucking... I should have I'm a humidor here. Oh, can we... Can I get a non-prop cigar? Yeah, no, that's not... A, <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, yeah, it's a cer- the side of the Serbian. Serbian is a certain non I, I fell in love with that. I, where, where are you going? Where are you going, Pete? Where are you going? Grab a bottle opener. Oh, does it need a bottle opener? Okay. Um, I I fell in love with the differences between Serbians and Americans yeah. because because it was it was earnest. It was. And it, it, was. And it was a real They're insight. They're wonderfully warm people when you get to know them and when they accept you yes. and let you in. I just hated then the fact they didn't have butter for the popcorn at the movie theater. <laughs> oh, I'm still not do, happy you still about upset that. about that? Oh, do you want to hear yeah. the fuck, the best? We go to a fucking movie in Serbia yeah. <laughs> and Kale goes, I go, Kale, are they, they going to translate it in <laughs> yeah, Serbian? And he goes, he goes, he goes uh, we, luckily we don't have to worry about that because we're seeing A Quiet Place too. <laughs> <Yeah. What? laughs> and he goes, he goes, there's no talking, so all you just got to follow along There's no along talking, the you get the subtitles in Serbian. Yeah. The yeah, subtitles are in fucking Serbian. Serbian. And so the movie starts off and, they, and the guy signs hello and it comes up. And we're like, motherfucker. We, so, I could not stop laughing. Were we drinking in that one? We may have been. We were, we were yeah, drinking yeah, in that yeah, one. You yeah. guys were drinking in that one. Yeah. 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 We would go to the movies pretty frequently. I, yeah. I took Bert to his first Fast and the Furious movie. 
That was your first Fast and Furious. Movie? I said, I said, Kill, I've never seen any of them. Do I need to know anything? And he goes, No, no, no. He goes, They're pretty untethered. I think, yeah, you, yeah. I think you can catch up pretty quick. Not a lot of through line. Yeah, you're gonna be fine, movies. buddy. And yeah, I went yeah. for real. And he goes, You'll see. <laughs> and when and when Ludacris and, and they were to space in that they go to space in wetsuits yeah. in a Fiat Fiari, <laughs> I'm fucking crying, laughing, going. Yeah. I said to Kale, this is what I want the machine to be. <laughs> that is the proper, that's the proper way to enjoy the Fast yeah. and Furious movies. It was fucking awesome. They're so much fun. They're just ridiculous. That's why that I That was a them. weird mall. That was a weird it was, mall. It was a cool mall, but there were only like 14 people in it whenever we were there. Well, it there was, was very was, empty. It was, it was just, it was built by the Chinese. Yeah. And it was, everything was built by the Chinese. Oh, that area. That's right. That was that's, new. That was new, that new, new development that was new like Belgrade. all. New Belgrade. Yeah. New Belgrade. New Belgrade. New Belgrade. Oh, and it was man. all. Oh, yeah. Built by the Chinese. This. Everything was built by the Chinese. And that's the beauty of Andrew is Andrew would pick it apart. And he goes, oh, this is what's happening with the guy. Oh, he world. would do research. Yeah, he would yeah. come he would be, in with. He would hit those restaurants on the bottom floor, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, those were some good fucking. But yeah. Those were some great fucking restaurants. Yeah, yeah. What was, what was that? What was the place that the, the, the bar we'd go to at night? And it would was like. With Gaga? With Gaga. Yes. When I met him, he came in and he like got real close in my ear and he went, why are all good directors fat? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. That's a really good question. You're right. Fuck. It's like, what an intro. You've never said that to me. Uh, yeah, it was great. Yeah, Gaga, was a, Gaga was a fast. Gaga was a guy Kale was trying to do business with. Who's a big movie producer in Serbia. Yeah. And, and he would just. He'd invite you out every night, every night, yeah. every night, and every then night. he's. Oh, remember, he took that steak blip. That steak oh, no, yes, I didn't know. I you guys yes, went to that. Oh, you guys stayed. Believe that was the. That's. I difference. was working a lot. You, you, you were, were working <laughs> every fucking night. I worked every night, but well, you know, weekends I threw down. But yeah, no, school nights are school nights for me when I'm making a movie, for sure. That's so, it's so impressive. Yeah. Do we have a cigar? Yeah, there's cigars right in there. Gotcha. That, I hate to. No. What, so wait, Kale, what's yeah. So only because I think it's probably interesting to the, the viewer when you like, I, I would love to know, not your, you don't have to tell me everything, but when you make a process of like, like, I'll tell you my process for uh, how a day of shooting worked. Yeah. Uh, I, first of all, I read the script in quarantine. I read the script over and over and over as much as I could. Yeah. I just would get, wake up and just read it and just as far as I could get. And then I'd put those pages off side and then just try to read it. Like I wanted to read it. Like I remember saying when I got there, I want to read it a hundred times. And so, and, and then I would just read, 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 read. And then, and then, and then I was done. And then the night before I would, Ooh, let me see what you got in your hands. Anything good? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got good stuff. Um, yeah. And then, and then the morning of, I would read it the night before I'd, I'd, I'm, cause I hurt my arm. So I'd ice my arm. I'd read the script. Yeah. My, that scene the next day. And then I was done. And then I show up and I couldn't, I didn't have, I didn't know I needed glasses at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and you, your, your scripts for the day were so small. Yeah. I'd have, what was the, you had a, oh, oh she talked like this. <laughs> um, the Wait, who, supervisor or who my, uh, uh, n- no, not Natasha. Natasha. It was uh, one of, I forget what her name is. But she would read, she would read the script. She would read with me because she could read it. Not our script supervisor? Was it? I What's her it name? Is. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, she was amazing. Yeah. I forget her name, but she was great. Anya? Anya. Yeah. Anya, wow, oh. Anya oh. would, Anya would yeah. sit and read my, Anya. oh, father, <laughs> why do I need to do this? I'm so scared. <laughs> and then Mark would read with her. Yeah. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. I would listen to her. And then, and I could not, I still couldn't commit his memory. I still would have a hard time. And then the second you go, so I need you to, ru- Bert, you'll walk here. Hey, Pete, lighter. Lighter. Uh, right over your left shoulder on that joint tray. Oh, oh shit. On that joint tray. Yeah. Right there. And so, uh, and then, and then you, once you blocked it, I was like, oh, I got it. And yeah, then I realized you, it was in for you every time. I mean, when, yeah. it, when you need, when it was, supposed to be there it was there i was it good was, at memorizing if i once you told me where to go once you told me how to be it yeah i could do it yeah but i couldn't just memorize it blank yeah you just had to like exist in the scene and then it was it then was it all flowed. there for you you yeah. picked up on that really quickly yeah that, that was really totally fucking impressive. no not everybody yeah, does not, not that, not, that does not oh, happen well thank you mark said that mark said that to me one day yeah it yeah. was a really nice compliment and but 
That was my process for a day. Do yeah. you think it's because you're playing yourself in a way? Yeah, I think so. You should move that a little there was no There was no stretch in character development for me. So, I was just... You're going to get it in there. Get the, right here? Yeah, get the tones. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. I think that I, I think I, I think it was yeah, easy yeah. for me to. I was looking out for sound, you know, for to to be me. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I ever had to question any of my decisions because I was like, "That's what Bert would do." Yeah, that was, and that was like, <coughs> honestly like it was great to have that feedback because sometimes you were you would come to me and you'd be like, "Hey, I feel like I would actually do this in this moment," and I was like, "Great, then do that." Yeah. That's that's what that was. You the, that do. was the you know the the one scene that I one of my my favorite scenes ever I, the only time I ever really like had to like it's the only time I understood Eva's process yeah because Eva was very I different didn't, I didn't yeah. realize Eva was like in character yeah that wasn't normally her no yeah she like I thought she did a great job I still she's know, many incredible times she can I tell you everyone who sees the movie that I've shown she, it to <clears throat> there they go wow Bert did a great job he's in I'm like super impressed. Who is that girl that was the other lead? Because she is unbelievable. She's so good. She yeah, really. She's fucking awesome. She's great. Let's we, talk about the things that worked that we didn't think were going to work. Well, where to begin? That's a long list. Yeah, <laughs> there was a that's lot always fun. on that's that That's always list. fun when you look at a movie. <laughs> yeah, how it comes together, and you're like, "What? I never thought." Yeah, because I know I mean, the movie. I know the moves I was beating you up on. It's like that's never going to fucking work. You just yeah, cut it. you just was, fucking cut it. You're yes, wasting, you're wasting was, everybody's time. The throat punch. It was a big fun. well. No, I was oh, 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 I, no. Oh, oh. Wait, oh, this wait, wait, fun wait. Game. This is gonna be a really fun game. That's uh, not true. I it was wasn't told to cut the threat punch. No, no, well, that was no. you and was her. That was, was a, a you and her. It was combo. a head decapitation. It was the one I said. Throw punch was you're okay. Right. You're right. You're I said right. let's fucking right. get out of the scene. You're right. I don't need this other shit. You're right. And turns out <laughs> you definitely we needed need the other, the other shit. shit. Yeah, it was, that it was, was <laughs> really that that fucking... that makes audiences melt down. Yeah. Oh yeah. That yeah. Brings the roof down. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. So yeah. that yeah. was a big one. Uh, I'll me. tell you. I'll tell you the big. I'll, I'll tell you another one. I'll tell you another one. I remember. Oh, sorry. No, no, no go. You say another one that kind of took me by surprise because I remember you were you were running really slow. Remember we were doing the the. Did I do that? The bedroom scene, and we got well, stuck in the mud there. I was like watching that day, fucking like fart away, you know. And no, like, we just had too much on that day. That scene did not take a long time. It was just that, well, yeah, that we, we did. One you scene you did quickly. like six or seven takes of him fucking on the ground. You there, mean the and amount I was of like, takes to get it right? Yeah, I know, but it was like we should do. move <laughs> this. This is no, you and Eva in the bed. I wanted to move oh, yeah, on and yeah. get to the, the leg emotional thing, scene. and I was like, then he made me hate the leg thing because we're taking oh, so okay, long. No, we'll get to the leg thing in a second. Keep and, going. Like when you're going, and then uh, and then I was fucking happy. I think it's so I, good. It's yes, one of the best scenes in the movie. It is. Yeah. So these are the things well, that was that, that was I like, learned, and, and that I, was, I could be a dick on set sometimes. I'm like, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. No, yeah, hundred percent, no, Peter. Yeah, but it's, I, it's also selective ignoring you is also yes, part of the see, process. He's good. Sometimes. He's good at ignoring me <laughs> sometimes. When, and then also, the universe. and then there are times where your guidance is incredibly crucial to making something happen correctly, and so warranted and appreciated. So it's a great process. Well, see, he's trying to make me feel better. But no, I, no, I, I, that, I, no, but no, I, I watch. But, I watch. I watch the movie, and I'm so. Well, look, let me, tell, let me talk about Atencio for a second, how we ended up there, because I think it's important to know comedy is a weird thing in Hollywood because there's funny movies, right? But they don't always play cinematically. They don't always look that sexy, you know? Yeah. And there is a, um, and Peter was someone that I always chased for years because I'd watch him on Key and Peel, and it was the one show that consistently looked fucking great. And they did kind of really basic stuff, but then they would do really complicated things. And when I heard there was like one guy fucking directing all that shit, I was like, how do we get that guy? And then he said, no, 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 for years. <laughs> Start to my shit. And, um, <laughs> um, Amazing then, how quickly he's turned those no's into yeses. Now he's on his second Well, project. no, I mean, there was, it, it was well, a process, I think, of also nah, getting, I mean, him I, understanding what I, I respond too strong, to. You know? yeah, no, 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 no. It was, no, it was purely just that what you were showing me was crap. But mm -hmm. it was, mm -hmm. it was um, also, I think, a process of just getting to understand one another Look. and finding a shorthand and... If and you if you had said yes to Walter the farting dog, <laughs> <laughs> your life would be very different, my life friend. Life would be super mm -hmm. different. Yeah, that's but true. Maybe we can go back to but that. I hear. Maybe keep, I'm keep here, going. I hear they're struggling with that one. Uh, <laughs> keep going no, but, about but, Peter. But my 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 point is, it was like uh, um, there's a a period in comedy, right? You can kind of go through the golden era of like the '70s and adult comedies, where you had like really special directors making kind of big movies. 
you know, I don't know why I just was watching Victor Victoria on the plane, you know, and that's yeah, like yeah. Edwards. Yeah. And like um, Edwards, and, and then you have, yeah. yes. And they were, and, it, and they felt gritty and real and, and it, it didn't feel like it was like um, playing scenes for the sake of comedy, right? The comedy came through situation, through character, and they're made by like real masters uh, for a period of time. And then the 80s happened, and there were some great directors that came out of that. One of those is John Landis, who I thought like for 10 years was fucking killing it. Yeah. And then you had like Ivan's run, you know? And then what happened in Hollywood is it became so much of an improv kind of session whenever he made a comedy and yeah. some beautiful things came out of that but at the same time when you're improv you bring a bunch of guys and gals into a room who are really fucking talented you're lighting it in a very kind of almost generic way you don't know where the scene's going to go so the movies are sometimes found in post-production and they try different things they test them 15 times look i've been a part of those shows as well Peter knows a lot of people who've done those, but Peter has way more of a specific kind of brain for comedy. And that's what's refreshing. That's why I always chased him. And so, and I think in, when it came to your story and figuring out a way to do it, because it was always going to be violent in my mind. Like yeah. it, that's why I always say Godfather <laughs> too, because it allowed us to kind of do like we we could toggle back and forth. I loved it. I, and, and, so, I, and I I never, one of my big mistakes, I never read the action. As I read the script, I just read the dialogue. So sometimes yeah. the action was lost on me like when we went into fight training, I was like, what is this for? And you're like, have you not read the fight scenes in the casino? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I read I the funny things yeah. I say. Yeah, I, 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 that's what, so that's why I'm saying that. I was wondering why I was saying that. Oh, yeah. But keep going. I, I, I keep but, going. But, but it's all, the, the, the thing is you have to kind of take stupid shit and make it look cool, you know? And the idea of the machine, you becoming kind of an action hero is such a ridiculous concept, right? Yeah. But you had to kind of treat it in a specific way, and you had to have someone with a vision that kind of make it look cool. I always say it's like kind of like John Wick for for idiots, you know. Yeah, is one way of looking yeah. at the movie. No, that's a perfect fucking example. <laughs> and so, um, and not anyone can kind of go do that. I mean, that's not easy. And so, um, it's a lot easier to work with directors like Peter, who could be a pain in the ass and like no, be stubborn and everything. But that stubbornness sometimes pays off in the case of like the scenes that I'm mentioning, you know? Do you think if you had, do, how many times, because there was a lot, like if, if, if you had a, if you had a director who cowered to your every need, how, how good, do you think it would make the movies better or worse? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, it depends on, like right now, since I've answer. only had two sips of wine <laughs> yeah, I'm I would say way better this. we should murder this we should open the blends and do a shot <laughs> because, because I'm like, always like no I mean I, I like to think that that's the fun of why we do this and I'm sure on a set I watch you work on stage and you see things on stage that I don't see you're like ah, I fucked that up I, I should have stayed in that joke longer yeah. pull back what the fuck what did I do and that was, that's been a lot of fun watching you kind of through the years especially develop this last routine because i Went to, well, I don't it, know how many shows. This doing this movie made uh, my last special so much better. Right? Yes. Yeah, uh, people said stuff to me like that are compliments that I went. Oh, I never knew. Like I, I've always wanted to do better in uh, character interactions, better uh, like plays, yeah, like yeah. talking to people. Yeah. And uh, is something about to explode? It's an air here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm plugging. I don't give a fuck. And so just open a window. It's a little quieter. Um, but uh, but they were like, you, you've gotten so much better at like, talk, when I talked to Isla, just act outs were a little yeah. bit. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, little, yeah. A little better. I, I noticed think, a little that, richer. that. That's interesting. And the school auction bit. Yeah. It's yeah. probably one of your and the, and the better runs. And the bit is, a, is distinctly, Pete, you can open that window. It's fine. Um, but uh, But I would sit with you and I would, and you'd be like, you'd be in the back. You're like, we got it. We got it. Let's move on. And Peter would be like, one more time. And then you'd be like, oh, come on. Yeah. I, knew <laughs> I always wondered. I always wondered. <laughs> because I'm looking at the course of the day and I'm watching how he gets himself in trouble. And usually he digs himself out. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, I mean, I, I give you a lot of credit for that. No, I, I, I make my days. You know, there, there, there were a couple things couple I think we pulled up we kicked, short. We, we pulled up, up short. Yeah. But I mean, Those were also d typically days where I knew we were fat and it was like, yeah. I got a show on paper that we're attempting it's like, this and then I know where I'm going to kick it. But, you know. Like there's moments in that, yeah. I mean, I could look at any scene and I go, oh, I wish we had that or done that better. You know, uh, yeah. had more time. I wish, I, I, wish I had known, of, I wish I had known of time. what I was going to be good at. Like, cause I like, there's a couple things that I go, oh shit, I'm good at that. Like, uh, like, what do you mean? Like, like I mean, we, we fucked him on, uh, I think 
when again this is what this is a problem i blame myself for it too it's like um the I'm the machine moment. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I was like, oh, because you and I both knew we were struggling. Yeah. I think in that moment, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. And we probably should have figured out a way to circle back. Yeah. And, and, and so we knew that. Yeah. Yeah. We got, you know, we were in that, that was one of our bigger sets. Was it a bigger set? What was our biggest set? That was right? a big, yeah. We were a in big there build. for a long time. It was a big build. Because, yeah. We had to get in and the out casino. of the, fucking, the yeah. casino. Yeah. That yeah. was a lot. There's a lot, a lot that I wish I had been more attentive peter you want a little splash more you got a long yeah, flight today buddy yeah, kelly sure. you're slowing down um, here we go but there's a it's lot like I, I wish i knew there's a lot i didn't know that which i think i'm happy about yeah but the, like I, like i walked away and i and reading that script as we got better as i as i had more experience I, I at one point i realized oh i know what i'm good at and i know what i could be really good at and i the one thing if we're talking about scenes that we almost cut was the the fucking throw up scene oh why that scene's so good no no no, no 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 we almost didn't do it yeah oh right yeah, we yeah. almost didn't do it for but a that's lot of what, reasons that's what i'm saying that that became the scene that we had to kind of that was that, that became extra credit if you remember correctly what do you mean? Like, like you had to jam that. You had to go back and you had you, to you fit had, it in. You yeah, had to yeah, fit yeah. It in. You had to fit it but in. But we knew I, I always knew I was going to. Yeah, it was but that made me nervous scene. because I didn't know if we were going to get it. And yeah, and, you know, yeah. and I'm because I'm balancing in my mind. I'm like, oh, geez, is it worth to kind of go get that at the expense of something else? And so, and that's and yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean, I think that scene plays well. In that the scene's movie. fantastic. Oh, it's great. But, but it but, great but it plays scene. really well. She's in the teaser we have. She's yeah. great in that scene too. Well, there's no acting. You know, like if <laughs> no, we were, if, if, I mean, literally at one point you guys are, I, I think we were doing it in such a way I was cross shooting it so that we could get both of you. And it was like, I was just throwing out at you like, okay, now you got to talk about how you need to trust each other. And like, there was little stuff and there's literally a moment where I think you're actually fighting back vomit and yeah. Eva as Eva, not as Irina is going, please don't throw up. Please don't throw up. Yeah, so wait, so there's, there's, so there's, there's real a backstory to this. She's, do, you, do you remember the backstory? I do remember the backstory. And Go I, ahead, by the way, please. Eva will never hear this. No, no. She'll never Eva doesn't have podcast. Instagram, Facebook, doesn't have Safari nothing. on her browser. She's got nothing. So so I, she has books. Whatever I decide to say is 100% <laughs> the truth. <laughs> 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 so there was a there was a day the day we were shooting the private jet stuff and we're sitting around and mm -hmm. she said uh and I and I she was like what scenes are you looking forward to I said the throw up scene it's going to be really funny she goes oh yes I don't that's the least one I'm worried about and I said and I want to do and I said I said it's going to be a fucking blast and I said she, I said she said really and I said well, it'll be really funny I'll probably throw up in your mouth and she went Hold on. Oh, that's right. She goes, you're not throwing up a mouth. Now, what I didn't know, what I did not know at the time, was that what she knew was that in order to do the scene, she had to be basically in a Houdini leg lock. Yeah. She had to be in a in a trap door situation where she couldn't move. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. For those who, real quick, for those who have seen the movie, she is lying on a platform that goes underneath that table and her legs are prosthetic legs. So she yeah. is fully trapped in this contraption with this fake leg. So she yes. cannot. I didn't move. know that that was going to happen. And she did. And she Thank you. got extremely nervous because I guess I put off an unpredictable vibe. <laughs> <laughs> and she I, I remember this it and became she, a bit of an issue right uh, yeah. became a big it issue. became a big I issue it became like a three day issue it was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was a lot the house of or something like this it became a three day issue and, and Peter which is your, I would say you're I, the, I, I have so many things that I could compliment you on but probably your best is massaging talent you're so good at massaging talent yeah. and, and, and making everyone feel good about themselves but more importantly, making everyone feel safe. Yeah. And you made everyone feel safe in every, in, including myself with emotion shit, which was my unsafe place, but especially with Eva on how to interact with me because I am a bull in a China shop and she's not, she's an act like a legit fucking actress yeah. from Croatia. Yeah. And, and I would come in at a, every time at I, you, you, I think you, I think you're the one that said it. You go, I don't know the right way to say this because I don't want to call anyone out, but I'll say what you said to me. You go, uh, you, there's something you should know about yourself. You draw focus. 
You walk in a room and you draw focus. You need everyone to shut the fuck up and look at you and listen to you. And then and then they can do Once they do that for a little bit, then you're okay. But if it doesn't happen immediately, you go into a funk. And I went, no, I don't. And you go, oh, buddy, you're not the only one on set that doesn't. And I went, what? He's like, all of you do it. And I went, oh, shit. And then I started watching and I was like, oh, that is the thing that makes an actor. Yeah an actor or a comedian is you draw focus. Whereas like a regular human, a regular human. And I say this, I put this out to you guys listening, just walks into a room and goes, hi. Yeah. Like I'm going to, I'm going to exist. Can I help in my own little space mm -hmm. here? As opposed yeah. to, did anyone see, I did it this morning. Oh, I woke up from a, I do. I don't even realize I do it. Yeah. yeah. But you, you, uh, you, you, um, you helped my relationship with Eva so much in, in that because I we're not meant we're not meant to be like <laughs> friends in real life. Yeah. Like we're just very different human beings. You're yeah. very different people. You're very, very different, different people. people. And you found the conduit to make us friends. And by the end, we were really close. Well, that I think that was like such. It was so great for your characters because in so many ways, you guys were. I mean, obviously you are your character, but she is this very cerebral, controlled, thoughtful. Everything is done with intention that she has thought about for X and you are the, you just exist as yourself. And there is, you just, there is no other way for you to be. And that like your chaos against her control is the story of that friendship and finding out how to live with each other and trust each other is it all comes together in that scene. So that scene is so great because you guys were literally in real time doing that in the moment where she oh, thought yeah. you might throw up on her. And I was like, he's not going to, don't worry, but you have to let him say that he is because yeah. it'll make it funnier. And it, and there's the, the moments we took <laughs> in that are real moments 100%. of me and her communicating back and forth. She's like, wait, are you going to throw up? On yeah. Me? When she says, I trust you. And that's real. That's Yo, her it's very as a real. person it's very real. saying, I it's trust very you real. as a person. It's my favorite. It's and, my favorite scene in the movie because, <laughs> and then you go, I'm going to teach you. To, like we got done the scene and, and you were like, and, and it was, and we were all laughing. It was really fun. And the energy was high. And it was like, whatever I go, I go, I want more of that in, in movies for me. Yeah. Like anything I want to do, I want more of that. Like I want, I want to. Yeah. Like it's the scene in Scream where they stab each other in the kitchen. It's, it's you're like, wait, is that deep, man? Like that energy. I want more of that for me to do things. But the best part is at the end, you go, hey, I, I need to get out of this scene. And he, I, I can't just have you standing there. And I go, what do you need? And you go, I don't know. Can you pass out? And I went, I guess I can. And I just yeah. fucking collapsed just and hit my back. And I was like, oh, can, you, can I get one more? I go, I think so. Now you got one take of that. No, we got two because we did it in two sizes. I got a wide of it because it was funnier in the wide. And the wide's what yeah, we yeah, use. Wide's yeah. what we use. But, yeah. but uh, no, yeah, you were great. You just threw yourself on the ground really hard. Yeah. And it's super funny. Sideways, it's a great a button. Sideways way. Too. It's a great button to that scene. It's a great, like, that scene is, it just ramps up, it has crazy energy, and then you just pass out. How nervous great. are you? Is that, How nervous is that are you? really your favorite scene, the vomit scene? Yeah, it's my favorite scene. It's my favorite scene because yeah. it's my favorite scene because it was the. I'd never been in a movie and I always wondered what being in a movie was like. Mm -hmm. And I knew I fucked, I fucked one scene up really bad. That was the best scene ever. And that was, let's see. Uh, hey man, is that my charger? Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. I could not stop laughing. And I, and I feel like I ruined the scene because he was so funny in so many of the rehearsals. Oh, you're talking about the, the, the DJ, DJ guy. The DJ. Yeah, I will say, yeah. in your defense, first of all, yeah, two things. That was a one, weird one. We, th we thought that was funny. Sometimes scenes are just naturally, yeah. they're funnier in the moment than they are on screen. Yeah. That just yeah. happens. That's just a normal thing. I, I fucked up how I shot that scene. I should have gotten, uh, that should never have been shot reverse shot because it was so funny and your oh, you dryness that should have been on a two shot yeah. that should have just been on i i made it more complicated than it needed to be so it didn't work because of how i directed it but also it was funnier on the day than it was in the i day. mean we we tried to let that thing live we all, tried all so many versions of we, that scene we would always just, laugh but no one ever laughed as hard yeah laugh. literally every as hard as we laughed in the moment laughing and it, it was, was almost like us. the real disconnect between language 
It's also just who that guy no, was all the time on set. Like yeah. he was so weird that when he got even weirder in that character, it was fucking hilarious on the day. I mean, yeah. I, I was crying. I was laughing so hard. Oh, there was so many, <laughs> there was so many fucking things that like, like, I don't know. Keep what's, you keep talking, Kale. What's in the movie though? Now, when he goes, is it Creed mixed with like Lizzo or Creed? No, or, we cut all that. All we we just kept it short. It, it's it's still like the like. Is that my is that my is that my ox cord? And he's like, yeah. Is that my yeah. He it's shorter, but it was I, never as funny as it was on set. And that's a, yeah, that's I always get, I always that no I, I but, blame but that's, myself. That, whenever that's that happens. the part of making movies that's amazing yeah. because the shit that you hey, you, might, day, you might want to cancel my uh it's cancel no me. I think I'm gonna drink today. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> Let her know we'll pay her, but oh wait, wait, tell was, her. That, was that disappointment in your no, 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 no. I you know it what? was a little bit. Peter, Peter yeah. was well, judging. Peter, I'm, I'm right. not gonna drink a couple glasses of rose and then go do fucking weight training. That would be weird. I, and I, I have to up, go to a visual effects review. That's fine. I, I have to Give have a meeting a with uh, Vince Vaughn and Aubrey Plaza. Are you so. going? Are you going to his place? No, no, we're doing it on Zoom. Yeah. Wait, They're um, all over the place. Wait, uh, you have all the fat astronauts? Yeah, I do. Is it bad if I buy a billboard the week the premiere? The week of the premiere. For fat astronauts. No, you should do it. You should show up can in an astronaut shoot. Can you get that done? That's fucking hysterical. Can you get that done? If you just then, do like one giant billboard somewhere. In Westwood? And it's you and Tom. <laughs> yeah, we should. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. We should put it in Westwood. We definitely randomly, should. Yes. This podcast is sponsored by Roka. Look, man, if you are active and you'd like to get outside and run or jog or hike or bike or do any of those things, like I have done. And and when I ran the LA Marathon, man, I had such a problem with my sunglasses. I, I used a name brand sunglass. Um, they were my go-to sunglass. They were polarized, and they were, but they were heavy. They weren't like an active wear sunglass, so they kept sliding down my face. So every freaking nine steps, I had to push them back up my face. Roka is making sunglasses that look like ordinary shades but perform like the best sports sunglass out there. They are versatile, they are super light, and they look great anywhere all hand built in the USA. They're started by engineering gear for serious performance athletes. Now, that same technology that won the stages in the Tour de France and the Iron Man World Championship is in everyday eyewear built for active people. They make tools, not accessories. This is so important. Let me tell you something. Those people that do all those races, they're really hyper aware of all their gear because their gear means winning or losing a race. These people at Roca have fixed the slip off your face problem, which trust me is a pain in the ass when you're jogging or biking. Spring-loaded hinges create a comfortable fit for any face while their proprietary Geeko nose and temple pads secure your frames from sliding even when you're covered in sweat. Upgrade your sunglasses this summer. Roka packed all of their cutting edge technology into all the iconic styles. They're unbelievably ultra lightweight, even with your prescriptions. Most frames weigh less than a pencil. All their eyewear is durable, made with resilient materials, engineered to take a beating. Each pair is made with razor-sharp optics. The clearest lenses available on the market all come with standard premium coating, anti-reflection, anti-fog, anti-scratch. They're built to be comfortable. Their unique design removes pressure points for better all-day wear. From lens cutting to frame assembly, Roka does most of its manufacturing at their state-of-the-art optical lab and headquarters here in Austin, Texas. Their customer service is next to none. They're the real people in Austin that can walk you through anything from frame material to picking out a style for you. Put them on, feel the difference, and wear them without limits. Unlock 20% off your order with the code BERT at roca.com. That's R-O-K-A dot com. Josh texted me and Mary texted me after our first scene. So, you know, I guess you yeah, said yeah, oh, they watched the dailies. Yeah, they yeah, both yeah. sent text yeah. me and they were like, and I remember we obviously we've seen the movie, know that we went a little aggressive and, and that was a choice. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> where you're screaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah, and, yeah. It's and in then, the movie. Yeah, and then uh and they were like, uh, go harder. And I was like, Oh fuck. Yeah. And I'd listen to Rogan the night before say, like, man, no one makes like fucking comedies anymore. Like comedies that like fucking shake you out of your seat. And I was like, and I'm like, I'm making comedy right now. Who's he talking about? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, we have to go hard. It's fucking that first scene. Yeah. And uh, 
Yeah. There was uh, there were so many. That, I mean, there was those moments where I think you and Andrew came at me with new pages on that scene. Yeah, we're like, hey, we took a look. Like we feel like we could just give this a little bit more of the Burt voice, and it was great. Like those scenes needed that pass. They there was needed. A, there was a couple scenes that like. God, I'm fucking picking my nose. That uh, that I, and in all fairness, I think it wasn't me. I am, I think I'm all the good things of a Hollywood actor and then all the bad things of a Hollywood actor. Like I, I was talking to Jimmy yesterday and he was like, he was like, you only want to be a movie star. You don't want to be an actor. You want to be a movie star. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're, you're right. Totally right. Yeah. yeah. I have no interest in being an no, actor. No, way, I have no diff- interest way in- different experience. Yeah. I don't want to be sitting in a fucking trailer <laughs> yeah. with someone going, uh, put this on. We'll be back in 10. Yeah. I go, I need to, more interaction than that. Uh, Kale was like, I think I found out how you're going to become difficult. <laughs> but like, I want to be a movie star. I, this is, it's oh, the most gonna... shallow thing you can ever hear coming out of my mouth, but it's the truth. It's the truth. I don't want to be a fucking actor. Like, I don't want to like star opposite Robert De Niro. I want to star with Robert most, De Niro. Most actors want to be movie stars. I mean, that's just, oh, okay. it goes with the territory. Okay, so, good, yeah, good, yeah, good. Yeah, You're not out of your depth. But. Uh, I turned down a project when I came back. After doing this, I got a project uh, by a guy who wrote it for me and said, hey, man, I, I would love to have you come out and do this. And I was like, I'm going to pass. And he was like, oh, I kind of wrote it for you. It's a big we have a, it's a big series. Like, why, why wouldn't you do this? And I was like, I'm not a good actor. And he's like, you're a fantastic actor. I go, no, no, no. I meant like the other parts of acting, like <laughs> yeah, waiting yeah. on set, and waiting on line to get my commissary or whatever the fuck it is. Like, so I, that's the the part of... This that I did not, that I I I don't want to be like a mm-hmm. actor. The good what was I? The good part of acting that I have. So, the, so the good part of acting I have is that I'm, I'm, I'm a great executive producer on my own movie because I really am hands off for the process of like, I, I it was it was a long time ago that I realized trust everyone that you're working with because they know more than you do. And then, it, and but so I have to really credit Kale and Andrew would just be sitting in the tent going through scenes and be like, this could be harder, right? Like, oh, come on. We could go a little harder on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm, I'm also good at my voice and good at writing. So then Andrew and Kale and I would like sit and be like, yeah, it could be harder. And like, we should go harder. And I think there's, I really only think there's two scenes in the movie that we did that with. We did that, or yeah. no, well, well, two scenes, two scenes. And then me and you did it with a bunch of other scenes. Yeah, we would do it kind of moment to moment in the on the day, and then well, yeah, I think there was two scenes where you guys came with new pages, and yeah. I was like, "Great, well, let's use this." I don't love this. Yeah, Taco Bell bathroom we maybe don't use. Oh <laughs> I don't know if you remember that one, but like, yeah, it was a great. That's what I love is like let's collaborate. Like that's you, the you know this character, you know this world. I know the story we're trying to tell. I kind of I like to be the guardrails. Like here are the guardrails. I'm going to tell you you're hitting the guardrail and then we'll bring you back on the road and like, we'll, we'll find the path together. But, but collaborating, I, I love that. It's, it's so important to say that a collaboration that it, it, people may hear that and go, oh, it's cool that you guys collaborated, but you're, you're collaborating with a, per, a person, two people, but definitely a person who has spent way more time on the relationship than I have. That was the thing that I, I, my one takeaway is I will never be Peter Atencio. Like that was my one takeaway is like, I don't have, Mm-hmm. I don't have any of that. I don't have any the attention I don't have, to detail. And so like yeah. I would show up in a collaboration sometimes. This is what Mark pointed it out to me. I show up in a collaboration like in a ma- in like a fucking 30 year marriage going, yo, we should try anal. <laughs> and she, she's like, well, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? I don't know. I should tie you up or something, right? She's like, did you just watch something where someone tied someone up? Like that's what I would do to you every fucking morning. <laughs> And Mark had to pull me aside and be like, uh, everyone's like, Mark one time was like, you know, I worked all night on these sides and then you show up with pages in the morning. Oh, yeah. And I was like, is that not how that should work? And he's like, I oh, know everyone's worked really hard. And he started pointing out, he said, those camera guys, they read the script too. Yeah. And I was like, for real? He's like, yeah. And he goes, and, and that's the day he goes, I'm like, he goes, I'm going to pay you a compliment, but I need you to hear the compliment as an assessment of what you're doing right now. 
<laughs> he goes, you have a real ability to memorize things very quickly. Not everyone else does. <laughs> he goes, so, so this is great, but let's do the scene that they wrote and let's shoot that. And I went, oh yeah. And then I thought, oh, what I, cause what I was doing was the, uh, under the, under the bridge scene. Yeah. 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 And oh, I was, yeah, okay. and I was my first night shoot. I had slept all day. I had so much fucking energy. <laughs> I was like, and I came in just firing fucking hot. And everyone's like, it's it's gonna be a long race. Yeah. And Eva mm -hmm. was like, as the night Eva told me, you know, I was like, I was like, if you could trade your ethnicity for one ethnicity, what would it be? And she goes, I'm about to act in a scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's and right. she was like, and I was like, what? Yeah. She goes, uh -huh. I'm right. She goes, I'm somewhere right She's now. To yeah. Avoid you. Yeah. She goes, uh -huh. I'm somewhere right now, and uh -huh. you're pulling me out of where I'm am. I go. Just be where you need to be. And then tell me real quick, would you be Asian or black? And she's like, I don't even know what the fuck you're... And she just walked away, and I was yeah. like, what's wrong with her? Yeah. No, yeah, she couldn't. She could not deal with those curveballs. Uh -huh. I was just like, right before That's we do a scene. That's making movies, though. Totally, but not everybody, to Mark's point, not everybody can do that. Not everybody can just like be something else, be in a different headspace, and be like, oh, we're going? Great, here we go. And then like focus in. So you could do that. Not everybody can. That was the only, that was the Andrew's favorite line in the whole movie. Because we're both Catholic. Is when I go, I'm going to hell. And he goes, that's what I was thinking. So you kill someone, you go to hell forever. <laughs> yeah, it's, so we should talk about, like, I'm curious, I'm, I, I am curious, like, your process was very meticulous. Yeah. Very meticulous. Yeah. Like, I, I would love to, if you could, like, just, like, real, give me, a, like, a broad outline of of how you make a movie. I'd be curious. <laughs> like, meaning, like, like you're doing uh, Animal Friends right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. And so, I know you've been working on this, Pete. Uh, <laughs> Kale, it's this. Yep. Hold on. That was DJ, everybody. <laughs> that was DJ, everybody. <laughs> but, so you gotta have some secrets. I want to hear yours, and I want to hear Kale's. Yeah. Because you are so fucking wow. different. That's I'll they do a, a they do a uh, yeah that's a whole that's just a, a bad just rosé, a, by the just way. A, yeah that's good that's good Thanks. they did a Peter Noir by the yeah. way Jared has had really nice things to say about the movie yeah about Machine did yeah. he see Machine yeah oh no way mm -hmm. I love Hess he's just such a good you want to know a beautiful moment in I hope this takes is taken as a compliment in nerd history uh, yeah. I introduced Stylebender yeah to Jared Hess <laughs> and fucking Israel you know Israel's the fucking what is the middleweight champion of the world yeah. in the UFC? Yeah. And he goes, oh, I fucking love Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> and and Jared Hess is like, uh, you watched it? And he was like, are you? And I go, oh, you don't know who you're talking to. He's not, he is a badass, but he's a really, he's one yeah. of us. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it was a cool moment. That's awesome. But like, I'm curious because I, I like I, I've worked with, I worked with so many different directors in, in specials, actually just, well, a couple different directors, uh, but I, it's funny to see, like, you are the uh, the the kind of touchstone I have for like how it's done. So I'm curious to see, like, like one of the biggest compliments I got paid, and I, I forget who told they paid it to me, and I went, "Oh, thank you." They're like, "I love the music," and I knew that you had started focusing on the music a year out. Like you had fought, oh, you yeah, start, you, a long time before. Yeah. Which is yeah. like for a nerd about movies, that's the coolest thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I like to like the more I can get my head around, like what the, what the tone is, what the vibe is of the movie, what the story we're trying to tell is and how all of the other decisions that I make can then play into that. Like, so for like music, it was like, it's set in Russia. We're trying to make it this big operatic, you know, crime story that Bert and his dad are getting pulled into. They're out of their depth. So I knew you know, we wanted like big, like Russian choir type stuff, big Baroque Russian music. But then it's also got to have this edge. It's got to have this tension that is always driving in this energy. So it needs to have this electronic feel that goes with that. And those two are playing against each other. And it's this kind of weird juxtaposition of harsh electronic synth stuff. And then, so all of those decisions are like, the, it's all kind of like, what do you want the feeling of the end product to be? And what do you want people to get kind of 
swept away by or, or you know, how do, how do you immerse them in this experience and make it something where they just turn their brain off and they're just along for the ride and they're reacting to moments and they're, they're just getting caught up in the journey of these characters. Did so, you always know the opening shot would be the opening shot? Yes. Yeah, that was one of the first things I, that was a scene that I wrote where I was like, mm -hmm. we got to start this movie with a recap of the story. We've got to tell you, you're going to watch the story of the machine. So there's got to be, we got to incorporate the stand up, And then you've got to establish that there's this guy in Russia who <laughs> realizes that this is the man who wronged him 23 years ago and wants revenge. And so like those two things, like hearing the story, hearing the way you tell it on stage, because that's so iconic. You say those first words, people applaud. They know what's coming. They're excited. So like, hearing those words at the very beginning must, and then dovetailing that with now we're in the experience of a guy in Russia who fucking hates you and is so mad that he's going to shoot his TV. And I want to know why does this guy hate you? What did, what did you do to him? What is it about this story? So those two things, it's like a great intrigue to pull people in of like, it what am I down. about it to see? It shut me down when we went to the first screening. I started sobbing, crying. <laughs> I didn't think the movie was You that were big. so emotional that first screen. And it was great. It was so gratifying to me that you had that response to it. Because it's like, I, I only ever wanted to do service to the story that you told. Oh, dude. It like, was when that movie opened, I mean, waterworks. And then I remember th at the end, Kale's like, hey, for the next screening, we may want to sit you in the back. <laughs> You're affecting the way people were watching the movie. Because <laughs> I was crying so aggressively uh but it was i mean it was it's such a it's it makes the movie like peter like kale said it makes them it makes the movie so much bigger than you think yeah i think everyone thought you're gonna watch a fucking cell phone video of me <laughs> robbing a train oh that's exactly right <laughs> yeah i think it definitely there's always an expectation that you bring to any movie in this story right and and again that's the fun of the combination of the two of you and watching that alchemy take place because it um it definitely took people by surprise and we look we tested this movie yeah which is a beautiful process yeah well it's, it's you're is, you're here's the the coolest thing is like for all the stuff that you that i watched you do i i'm not i, I would say taught me but i, I would say i i sucked at, uh information out of where i just realized i've always been someone who uh i watch what people do and i realize what i don't want to do out of that yeah like I, i'm not someone who gets inspiration from people i go yeah i'm not doing that shit and usually with comics it's like i'm not cheating on my wife i'm not doing coke on the road yeah. like there's little things where you go yeah. i'm seeing that that's fucking up people's career and i don't want that to be a part of that fuck up yeah um i watched things you did and i went i don't want to do that i really don't want to do that <laughs> do you remember that opening shot how i fucked that up yeah you want to talk about that at all? Not really. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I do. I do. What are you talking about? Oh, oh man, it was so bad because we were really hammered. We like hammered. We, we had were, a crazy. It was we all. Were, we were getting fucked getting out of Wait, the location. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I'm and sorry. I was we outside. Shot that. We shot that. I was outside. We shot that. We shot that. That's not CGI. What? The building exterior? No. That's We shot that. No. We shot that. I did the drone We work. were inside. We were inside and Kale and Herb were like I was doing the helping drone run outside. the drone unit. And I was like, we got it. We nailed it. <laughs> And Pete came out, and I think I don't after playback. And oh my god, I, I was I was, I was delirious because we were we were shooting nights. Up. I know what night, this and is I think the, we were drinking. This is the night I you burned were my you leg. were fighting Alexi. You were this fighting Alexi. I burned my yeah, leg. Yeah. This is the night we stayed up with. This was a. Oh little, my god, uh, I'm such a fucking fool. Yeah. I thought that was CGI. Pete, no, that's Pete real. Pete wanted to fucking strangle me, but I was like, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, and it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> Eventually, it was fine. You couldn't have got the fight, you know. No, I know. Look, I mean, there were. There's always compromises that you have to. The problem make is, was the, the opening way. shot of the movie, and 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 it, it's 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 all fine. It's it worked out. It's okay. We got what we need. To what if get. it? What if? What if Pete just like threw down his glass of rosé and sort of strangled me? No. Like there was a lot of couch. times. There was a lot of times where there was one time. There was a, a couple times <laughs> where where Peter, you could see that Peter was. So pissed at me? Was very pissed at you. Yeah. I, and, 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 and <laughs> adversely because I, I was with you in the tent. I pissed ever. I was I, never I remember being, I was in the tent with set. you being pissed at me and then shelving his pissed with me to work with me, but then turning it back on when I went in the tent with you because you would just. I, what day was that? This when is, was it's, I, it's, it's all, it's all in uh fucking. It was in the woods. No, it's. Oh, oh. 
I can name three other ones. I thought it was, it was, it was I, the woods. I didn't I, think of the woods. I, I, I was happened so in the woods. upset. I was like, guys, the scene is fucking killing me. With the Jimmy Which and Burr scene? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but it, it turns out it turned out great. great. By the way, weirdly, weirdly, it might be my favorite scene. It's a great movie. scene. That's a great scene. I don't scene. know. I was... Um, no, Tatro, no, when Tatro we were... showed up and crushed that scene. No, I, great. I get it, but Jimmy, I was just Jimmy, like... Jimmy, yeah. I mean... I, I have an issue in terms of like, we go to like these locations and we sit down and talk. Like that, to me, that's not a scene, you know? That's a brilliant... Hang, like, on, hang on, hang on. Expand on that because wait. that was like his, his big thing is... That was a really big thing, and and then I was like, okay, I was like, how? Do, well, I was like, how do I fucking appease? No, Kale? it's just like give 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 the actor something to do, something to kind of express the drama, what's going on. Sure, yeah. And it yeah. was like sitting on a fucking log is like putting me to sleep. And, <laughs> it, and it was he like kept saying that you're sitting on a fucking log, as if as by if, the way, as if a train think, station would be I better. I think that was a day that never actually fully got to me. I don't no, think, I, I, I don't remember. Got to me. I had just I, I had ruptured my I ruptured. My my tendons that day yeah that was i burned day. my leg ruptured my tendons that was and tough. i couldn't use my arm no we you guys went back you guys went back because i i went back to la and you shot the stuff at the opening with the the disco guy or the dj waking him up and like Ooh, yeah yeah Ooh. the dream stuff so there that was, was later though yeah that was yeah, we saying. just added that into yeah. the there, there was an add-on into it right and but yes yes that's uh, right he was because what we yeah. shot on that day was him just we sitting up and, yeah and Jimmy was there with the weight. He's just thing. like standing there. I was like, Ugh. right, right. Anyway, no, I, it's, I, it's, it I, is, I'm not always is. right. You know what I mean? But I, I, no, I, wish, like, I wish, I really I'm wish. Watching it, and I'm like, but you are a good barometer. That's what I like is that you are a great. Like you have an instinct for what an audience is going to want, and when you're bored, you're like the audience is going to be fucking bored. I'm bored. Yeah. And that's great because sometimes I need to hear that. I get very like hyper focused on details or on moments or on, you know, and I kind of need someone going like, hey, here's the big picture. This feels a little boring. This feels a little slow. And yes, on that one, I think you were wrong because the scene turned out great. We yeah. did have to find it a little bit, by the way. Yeah. That was not the scripted ending. We were like, no, no, I, what if he starts berating you and like you're just was, giving him shit? I, and uh, by the that kind of made it come alive of yeah. like suddenly you're in having this freak out and then the tree explodes. It's one of the better recent it. trippy kind of like drug moments. I know? just hate, I hate, uh, this is just a me thing. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. Drug trip yeah, because it's in like, movies, because it's every movie now has a drug trip yeah, I know, thing. I and know, you see it in strays right now. You just now see everything. Spot. Everything has a drug, <clears throat> drug trip moment. And like, there was one in Animal Friends that we cut, but it's, it, it is a trope. Well, and like, so it was like, remember when he, he eats oh, the, guys, the guys, eucalyptus guys, guys. leaves? This goes to everyone, oh, guys. This goes to everyone. Don't tell everyone. No, no, it's okay. It's out of the movie. It's not in the movie okay. anymore. It's, it's fine. Out. It's out. Whatever. The, the interesting thing is uh, in that scene, it was a scene you had to discover. Like it was, it was like, uh, I think yeah. it was Jimmy and my first, it was my own, our only time working together. It was your only time on screen together. Yeah. 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 And, but we had spent so much time together. Yeah. Plenty of You'd hung out and yeah. Yeah, and there were things that he would say. But like, that's he would one say thing, to me that he said something control? to me in the, that's in the movie. He said to me in real life, and I he goes, "So you're married?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Is your wife hot?" And I was like, "Yeah," but well, I mean, you wouldn't think so, but yeah. And so and, goddamn. And, and then we're like, "Oh, put that in the script." Yeah, what? In the fucking she's script. fucking fifty. Yeah, yeah. She's fucking we married, 50. We married a fifty year old. We married a fifty year old. It's so Bro. good. But that's <laughs> one thing I will say. I will credit to Keegan and Jordan on Key and Peele because that was something that we did on that show was like, we just knew you could have a great script. You put the scene on its feet and you're like, no, nah, let's make it better. Let's plus it up. Let's find it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And that's something that like, I like doing is like, great. We've got it on the page. It's good. Yeah. And you got to find it a little bit more on set. And like, let's give the actors the room on this one to play a little bit or, yeah. you know, do that our, was the, that's the, I, I really enjoyed that. There is an amount, a tremendous amount of pressure on an actor to find it, though. Totally. And that's where I would love to, like, I would love to watch other people work to figure out how they do it. A lot of people can't. A lot of people just, they're the most classically trained actors do not mix well with improv or no, really. the idea of, like, not just having a. Acting's hard, as you know. Watching yeah. me try. I mean, <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, that's that's right. a good pivot. That's, do you remember is, Kale's yeah. scene? Kale scene. Let's do you talk guys about know Kale, Kale scene. scene. Oh, I saw it. Kale scene. Did is, you actually see? You, know, you were on screen in the movie. Yeah, Peter fucking cut me to fucking well, ribbons. <laughs> that was uh, that was you a, were that was a marionette. You were like, get Kale. Out of, no, I'm just kidding. But you were. <laughs> you went. Through. I was fucking horrible. 
I had a, I had a weird You made a choice. Crisis. You made a choice. You did have a little bit of a freak His out. choice I was Doritos. Tell. His choice was Doritos. I your choice that. was that you should eat a chip, not between lines, that on your line. That was my safety blanket because on I, your line. my brain, you eat a I, it was probably one of the most outer body experiences you were in a, It might have given I me the examining to myself. It gave me the confidence to act because I went. I was like, I was like, I'm uncomfortable oh on, a, on, a t- on a movie yeah, set. This is like day and five for fucking you, and I made yeah. you look like Lawrence Olivier. You did. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, hey, it was a great. If your if your I, goal was to ever, build I confidence, never thought I was going to be that bad <laughs> ever. And I, so, I said, I, I I watched that, and Andrew was the, on the side, and Andrew was, was like, Andrew oh, he's fucking that blowing too. it. That's and right. Andrew Andrew's was like, in that too. It was a little tough, huh? And I was like, all you have to do is lift your shirt up, machine. <laughs> Oh, I was, yeah, I, I, I was a little more complicated. You had more to do? Yeah. I had more to do. No, fucking, I like to think that Mark ruined the scene. Not me. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. not could true. That, could that be it? That's not true. No, can, that's can not we the make case. that the narrative, though? Yeah. I can mean, we, it was also weird you can try. <laughs> sitting across fucking Luke Skywalker, <laughs> who's a big reason why I'm in this fucking business. That's so, a you thing. I then, mean, and then I'm like, uh, how do I do this? And he's being really kind and trying to help me through it. Yeah. You're being a dick. So I was not being a dick. You were like, you, no, no, yeah, no. You, you were, were just going, Kale, you can't put a chip I as just you're said, saying a word. Yeah, I, I was like, like, hey, I Kale, felt like chips between lines, not yeah. on lines. On the that was I, 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 I saw you fire. I, I, needed, I, needed, I needed a little list. Every time. It should be noted. Hang on. I'm going to take control of this moment right now. I, I needed, it should be noted that Kale rewrote this scene. For himself, can we get an original breakdown of the scene you wanted to do, Bert? No, you remember when he killed it? He killed I haven't it. seen that you in a while. Taco Bell. That was, was the Taco Bell. Bell. Oh my that god! Was, uh, yes. Kale was, was going to come in and goes, Bert. It's been a long time. I haven't seen you since this one time. I passed out at Taco it Bell. It was bathroom a monologue. And you took be naked. Motherfucker gave himself a monologue, he and it gave was like a monologue. Eh, I haven't seen you since that time at Taco Bell. We both got real high and I, fucked I up, and then we took pictures of that dude on the bathroom taking his shit. When did I? When did we do that? And then and then you wouldn't be. Must have done that. You I guys did no, it. Was I, I, it, was you, it was you. It was you. No, no. You that's Andrew. bullshit. It was, it was you both were in on it. Was, it was, was a bunch of bullshit. It was oh, definitely right both. It was not just you, me. The three of you, you got fuckers. hammered. It was you two that's and Andrew. It was you two and Andrew got hammered. Yes, I know he was there. You we, emailed we, me pages at like one in the morning. Yeah, that sounds more like it. I was up because I was fucking working until late. Done that up my own. No, that was no, a, that you, was a, no, but you definitely were greenlighting any pages that oh, came your so way. Fuck. Thank God, God you such, killed it. it was Cheers and to I, Peter for I, killing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, like, okay, oh God, so we're not like, going to do these pages. <laughs> I appreciate you guys sending me pages, but we're not going to be doing those. But we came in the next morning. Goes, I have you read these? No, but what I was saying, I needed a little more Pete Carroll and less Belichick from you. And <laughs> you didn't. You you were totally Belichicking me. And I, and it, I, was, I felt really I shitty. I was Pete Carroll the whole fucking movie. <laughs> no, no, you weren't. Not with me. You were Belichick. You got Belichick. Sometimes you need a little Belichick. It's a bunch of shit. Sometimes you need a little you know? Belichick in your life. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like it's amazing your sensibility about movies, but your 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 blindness to acting. <laughs> I'm aware of that now. How many I, movies have you been in? I was in Dune. Yeah. Wait, who were you in Dune? Cut, no, I cut, was, cut scene. I cut was, scene. Okay. I was Duncan Idaho, or Momoa's you hold drinking down, buddy. You hold down Momoa when you shave his head or something, or shave his yeah, beard? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. his beard can't, can't oh, because he had a mask on the whole time. Well, no. I just saw no. Dune. I just saw Dune. He just saw Dune. Literally. I just, just saw, saw Dune? Dune? Yeah. Well, yeah, like, so Kale's like, uh, you know, making Dune, and I was like, oh, cool. I was like, ah, nerd shit, don't care. <laughs> And then he's like, it's really good. Dennis Villanueva is doing it. And I, I didn't was like, say Dennis. I, he did not. He yeah, did not. What's his name? I can vouch for Kale. He did not what's say his that. Name? What's his Denis. name? Denis. Denis. Oh, yeah, you did. You did say Denis. You did say Denis. <laughs> Dennis. I, read, I read a Dennis. Dennis, <laughs> and I, and, Dennis and, Villanueva. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I was like, From don't Canada. know who that is, but it sounds like he can make like a spaghetti western or something. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I was just like, I was like, whatever. And I was like, I'm, this little movie I'll never see. And then you, this is the, can I tell you why you, how you sold that to me? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't remember. It wasn't the best picture nomination that got you on board with the idea of seeing it. I'm just, no, it was just not. To be clear. Okay, it cool. It definitely was not. It definitely was not. <laughs> okay, cool. It was Kale telling me how fucking cool Jason Momoa was. And I and so I started going, like, I got Jason Momoa's brain, I think. Like, I, I, yeah, I yeah. like that guy. Yeah. So I go, well, if he liked the script and he read it, I bet I could like it. So the other day, we're in Australia, pizza, uh, like, like Kale. 
Pete's like Kelly is really yeah, like he's, he's, he's like a, a big, he's, he's a got really a big nerd brain. Yeah, and so I said, <laughs> and it was Peter's birthday. I said, "What do you want to do for your birthday?" And he's like, oh, "I don't want to do anything." And I said, "What if we all just sat in my room and watched Dune?" And he lit up. He goes, "I'd love to watch Dune." And he had already, uh, and he had not only had he go. read the books, <laughs> but he had he had watched the movie a couple oh, times. Doing a friends and family um, on May twenty fourth. What the fuck? Too. I'm sitting right here. Maybe I've maybe. asked you about a friends and family. If you don't mind coming, I don't, I don't know what the, the, the strike. May, May 24th? What do you mean with the strike? What, I'm not crossing Wait, where up? Where are you guys? Awesome. Dude, we're promoting Austin. this fucking movie. Cable. I'm not, cre- I'm not, I'm not you crossing have, a picket are you, are you line. Are you here on the 24th? I should be here on the 24th. Then, then there you go. Yeah, yeah. Please, Here's why yes. you should watch this movie. Kale should not be making movies. <laughs> With, I'm not I mean, I'm not like top to bottom. There's no reason. Yeah, go to the bathroom down the hall, Kel, or piss in the fucking closet. <laughs> he should not be watching movies. He should not be making movies. I shouldn't be making movies. I'm not, there's not, and I'm not even joking. There's yeah. not one part of him that should be in Hollywood at all. That's why he's good at it. That's why he's good. That's why. It's like that's it's, why it's like it's. There's so many things about this. I go. So if you. If if you if you like me, and you want to, you don't have to want to see more stuff from me, but you want to see more stuff adjacent to me. Support this movie because guys like Kale then succeed. Guys like Peter then succeed. Who have the sensibility of, I mean, if you enjoyed Kim Peel, uh, those guys are obviously they're brilliant. But yeah. like it was a collaboration. Peter was their director. He was a part of that process. Kale is the guy who. Not, I mean, this is what's weird about Kale. Not only did he make Dune, not only did he make, uh, he was part of the hang, he made The Hangover. Yeah. He made, like, he made all these fucking movies. Elf. He Elf. Made, Elf. He's just like but, bangers. But, he, he, but he's also a, a nerd where he likes stuff where, that you don't expect him to like. Totally. And he is, I mean, I'm, if Vegas took odds on how much longer Kale would last in Hollywood, I would take the under. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. I mean, he said he said stuff in meetings where you're like, where I say stuff in meetings, and I go, I go, I can't believe that came out of my mouth. And then Kale goes, I not only do I agree with that, and you're like, <laughs> but that's his superpower. That's his that's, superpower that's is that superpower. he wa- he makes movies as a viewer. Yes, I, it's it's the same thing I've always said. Yeah. I look at my business. I don't look at my stand up. I don't. I don't <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't make my stand up that way. I don't know how I make my stand up. But I make my my business as a fan of of uh, hey, give Peter, give Peter. <laughs> Thank you. We should be good, yeah. He makes he makes you know. Can I tell you? Is that bottle number two? By the way, yeah, that is bottle number two. Cool, 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 cool. It's gonna, gonna be a great. it's gonna be a productive day. Yeah, it's I gonna gotta, be a productive. I got day. a previs launch. At, <laughs> it's gonna be good I'll previs. It's gonna be good previs. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Kale, Kale looks at the business the way I look at stand-up comedy, the business of it. Yeah. Is I look at everything as a consumer. And so I look at everything as a fan of like, what do I like? What do I dig? Yeah. Like I'm doing a I'm doing a show and and I and I I've 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 had a little stress over it because I've always I've I i do not want to like I learned a couple things in press about uh not don't be too uh no one, no robotic. One really, no, 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 not robotic. I wish I could be. I wish I could shut it down and say the things you're supposed to fucking say. Instead, I <laughs> no, cry no, and don't. I tell. No, come on. Oh, I really that's, do. That's, Dude, really? You have no idea. You have no idea the fucking when you want. Like, especially, I'm really uncomfortable with how, where we're going right now. These next month is makes me really uncomfortable because I know I got to put myself out there. When you put out yourself out there, people obviously then go. For the first time in my life, for the first time in my life, are they giving you talking points? None. Yeah, you got it. Good. You shouldn't hit. You, I don't want points. any talking. Points. Yeah, you just be yourself. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, like the talking point podcast. about what it's like to kiss another woman on set, and not kiss my wife, and then and then every time I've done it, I've been like, that seems inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck would I bring that up? Why am I saying these things? I think just no, be yourself. Don't worry about yeah. trying to hit a narrative. Don't try to worry about selling the movie in that way. There's like, so many things. Like I have talking points in my head that I think are funny points that are be like. Like I think all late night's been canceled, so that's a, that. Uh, it, this sounds crazy, but that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh wow! Yeah, because I go, because Kimmel makes me nervous because I know that it's got to be like a, it's got to be like, it can't be like free form where I just go, 
Mm-hmm. Where I can't, I can't say fuck, and then you know, and we tape the thing that'll air. That's great. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Get him. It was awesome. But Kimmel made me nervous because Kimmel's like such a pro at it that I'm just used to doing like free form, mm-hmm. long form interviews where I can talk for a little while. No. Right. Yeah, so yeah. you're trying to like coordinate sound bites. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know my sound they, bites. Then they do the pre interview. They're like, "What's the story that you want to talk about? Is there anything fun that happened on the movie that you want to?" Mm-hmm. I had one it's really good one. I had one it really sucks. good one. Yeah, it's a bummer. The really good one. This is, and so I'll use this. Can you guys plug this in? Send this to Kimmel. See if he wants to use it. <laughs> he's he's on By the way, strike. You know, you're Jimmy good. Kimmel. I got to be honest with you, man. Out of all the fucking people, the day the teaser came out, Jimmy Kimmel reached out. Jimmy Kimmel reached out personally. I was like, "Can I get you on my show?" Oh, that's awesome. This movie. Yeah. And I was like, that I, that was like the coolest fucking. Out of all the things that happened to me in Hollywood, that was the one thing. Because Jimmy Kimmel, I thought, always hated me because I did the X show and he did the Man show. Oh, and and I knew. And I, so, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So oh, yeah, so when he yeah. did that, it it was like it was like a cool like. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. He's a really good dude. That whole team was great. Get him was fucking, fucking love killed us. the Oscars, by the way. Yeah, yeah, in a good Jimmy way. Kimmel's yeah, yeah. 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 So now, now we've done no, it. So it back. Back. Like, well, yeah. I was like, thank no, it was God a great show. It was it was a great show. I hope he comes back. Yeah. That'd be great to have him be like the Bob Hope and just host it a bunch. Yeah, I'm sold. Yeah. So here's the story I was going to tell on Kimmel. My dad called up and he goes, uh, hey, when do I going to meet Mark? And I go, what do you mean? <laughs> you remember this? Yeah, I do. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, <laughs> he goes well, I got to meet him if he's going to play me. I go, so he's not playing you, dad. And he goes, no, he's if he's going to play me, I need to meet him. I go, hold on, dad. He's not playing you. He's playing a version of you like a, my father, but not you. And he goes, well, hold on. What's your name in this movie? I said, Bert. And he goes, what's what's your dad's name in this movie? I said, Al. And I said, he goes, that's my name. I said, yeah. And he goes, what's his last name? I said, Christ. He goes, well, that's my fucking name. It sounds like he's playing me. And I go, no, dad. And he goes, I go, hold on. And he goes, where does he live? I go, Florida. Hold on, dad. You're... And he goes, it sounds like he's playing me. And my mom goes, Albert? Enough. Yeah. It's a movie. Let go. It's not it's it's not real. It's a movie. They wrote a script and they're just simply using your name. And and my, and my mom was like, What's what's your mother's name? I go, I don't know. My mom's dead. This movie's just I'm dead. I'm dead. How you how did I die? I go, I don't know. We never covered it. You don't know how your mother died. <laughs> that was the story I was gonna tell on Kimmel. Can someone clip that out and send it to him? Yeah, send it to him. Yeah, yeah. And then he can plug that in. Let, yeah, let him know what he's missing. Yeah, let him know what he's missing. I had somebody, my, okay, another story. These are the stories I was going to tell on press. What was it like working with Mark Hamill? He's awesome. He's super generous. He really is super generous. He really is. We all know that. We know that. I don't need to say the two, but yeah. the best part was that Eva, my co star, had never seen Star Wars. You know this? You remember this story? I do know this is my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I know it's. <laughs> and, and she goes. She goes, hey, what that, we're going to dinner one night. She goes, whatever you do, don't bring up Star Wars. I go, it's a little toughy, but it's like his thing. She goes, I know, but I've never seen it. It wasn't big in Croatia. I go, it was big everywhere. <laughs> she goes, just don't bring it up. So we sit down for dinner. I sit, Eva and Mark sit directly across from me at that restaurant we always sat at. Yeah. And, is and this the outdoor one? The outdoor, yeah, yeah, the outdoor yeah, yeah, yeah. One. That's right. That's right. They were sitting. Yeah. yeah. Now I remember. Yeah. And I go, uh, I go, Mark, Eva loves Star Wars. <laughs> What did you What did you like, Eva? What, what do you want to talk about? She goes, oh, I don't know. I love a good guy, bad guy story. You know? <laughs> and I go, Eva, who's your favorite character? And you can't say Mark. Yes. She goes, I die. Chewbacca? And he goes, Chewbacca? And she goes, yeah. I go, Eva, can you do a Chewbacca impression? And she goes, hello, I am Chewbacca. Where is Han Solo? Those were, these, these were the stories I was going to tell on Late Night. Those are good I stories. That. that was a great place. That was by your pad. That was my pad. We went there every night. Yeah. Is that you or me? I think it's you. I think it's you, Kel. I, the, I don't know where my phone I is then. I think it's in. back there. I think it's right there. Oh, oh I don't want to look at it. Though. Lighting up. Should I still, look at it? I, it is. It is a work day for me. You're can fine. We just, can we just make... You're okay. Who is it? Tom what time's, our, what time's it? our heart out? We don't have a heart out. We're fine. Oh, it's fucking Jay. Oh. Is he pissed about being sent to New Zealand? No, he's fine with that shit. <laughs> Jay who? Jay Ashley. You guys have the rights to. You know Jay. He's at Legendary. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why has he got to go? Oh, he's got to okay. He's got to go. Do yeah, because I can't go yet. Tell him to New Zealand yet. I, I threatened him. If he doesn't come to the machine premiere, I'm going to quit Animal Friends. There's what's, what's interesting about you is you do navigate. You do, like there like I, I can't get into too deep, great a detail. But no, you, I made myself the punching bag. No, 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 no. You navigate. 
uh, when you're making a movie, yeah, you're good at explaining. I can't help the talk politics about the way, of it. The, the way politics I feel. of it, like when so. you when like you're really good at me going. Don't worry, what like because I worry about everything. You go, don't worry about this. This isn't something that we need to worry about. This isn't a big thing. Yeah, uh, I can't really talk. I don't. I can't really talk about it. But like, uh, oh, like I can, I can totally. I, I totally can. But when I injured my arm and we had to start taking precautions, you're like, hey, this isn't on your radar. Stop worrying about this. Because you're you're like, just keep doing what we're doing. We're gonna make. We're over here. They're over there. We're gonna keep making the movie. Yeah. Let's go. And yeah. and so like you're really good at like at like highlighting the important parts and the non important parts. Yeah. Well, it's kind of what we do is. As if, if you ever if you're invested in the thing you're making you know um it's like uh well the beautiful thing is we're all different we're all fucking different we all have different attitudes and everything and you got to figure out what you're doing on any, any given day and like how we're going to get a first down today yeah right and yeah. so it's like let me focus on the people that i'm connected to in this process because when you make a movie i'm a small part of it and, and that's the beautiful thing about making movies as you know when they succeed it's not one person. No, it's not two. Exactly. It's not two it's, individuals. It's a team it's, sport. It, and it's a beautiful thing when it works. And when the movie yeah. doesn't work, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's not ever one thing, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, but uh, I'm not bad only because I've done it before and I've made a lot of mistakes at figuring out what matters on that given day. Yeah. And it's, so it's interesting. It's but, cool doing stuff with people that have done stuff. Yeah. Because uh, that's the number one thing. But when Leanne, uh, we started upscaling our business and hiring necessities of like, what what do you need? It's really interesting. It's a really interesting process. Because like, I want to say the first thing we said we needed was like an editor. Yeah. Like, Man, an editor would change my life. Like if you really like, if you think about, or, or no, an assistant, it was Peter. And I was like, that would change my life. And it, and it did in a way where you start going, okay, well, if we can afford this, what else do we need? Yeah. I remember Leanne was like, all right, pie in the sky. Where's this company going? And I go, oh, I I just put Peter and Kale on salary and we just make movies for the rest of my life. Because I was like, I was like that, that group of people to work with are the funnest. It was the funnest process. And then I go, and then I start going like, and then you start realizing value and you go, how underpaid are people in Hollywood? Because you guys should be, I mean, you, you I, 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 I think I'm also not, privy to like the process and what all goes into it mm -hmm. you know what all the people you need to make something right but like i go man i go those you just hire these two dudes to start making bangers fucking get get a hedge fund to give you a hundred million dollars and just make 10 movies real quick make 10 like line them up make 10 movies mm -hmm. secure some stars give everyone points i go i'm sure that i don't know the way the business works but like i go why the fuck isn't that the business model well, the business model changed uh, radically uh, over the last, what we'll say, three or four years. Yeah, well, I and think so it's, yeah, so um, and I think that it, well, look, well, there's a lot of good signs that we're seeing uh, in the last, we'll say, six months. Yeah, and um, because I, I got into this business because I love going to movies and I love escaping. All right, and I don't escape very far when I'm in my fucking living room. Yeah. You don't. So yeah, there's a there's a very quick tap out. Yeah. In your oh. Mind. And, there's and just I have ADHD, and so yeah. if I'm sitting at home, I, I phones I, that's out. Why I've literally watched one point three series in my entire life, and that's because Cassie. I like, can't watch a series. I I, I watched The Great. That's, that's the only comment. series. Oh, I watched The Great too. You did. It's I really, loved it. I really? Loved it. I loved I it too. So but good. Cassie, I literally, I don't know what it was. I, I think in the middle of COVID, and I was like, she said, "Watch this." Yeah, please. And uh, but it was. It's but so I, great. I know it's all so these great. people on the all these fucking series. They talk <gasps> about them. Little, I like sample little, them like little, this wine. Can I tell you what I think they should do? Perfect. And then I move on. They should do the great the way they did the great. So the great is brilliant because what it did, it took an atrocious moment in Russian I history made it fucking and made hilarious, it fucking hilarious. Really? Did you do that with a Holocaust? I gotta, I gotta watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Make Hitler a comical character. It's all seen through the eyes of Eber Braun. <laughs> That's. But, yeah. You want to jump on that one? <clears throat> But you have, you're, you're kind of Jewish. I'm Jewish. Yeah, you're yeah. Jewish. Kind of Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. You're kind of Jewish. I qualify. Yeah. I don't know what your schedule is, but I'll start wrapping it up because I'm worried Kale's got to leave. Kale. Yeah, I do. I, I yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna get fucking sizzled. Okay. So then, 
So then, <laughs> so you, just to be clear, you are going to show up to the VFX review a little, a little rosé. Because right. they're not going to hear this for it's another probably, fucking yes. nine weeks. Eight weeks. That is correct. No, I'm just talking where, about the Oh de Rosé that he's going to be yeah, coming where's in the wearing. Meeting? Is it a real meeting? Where no, I'm going to yeah, yeah. photo chem. Yeah. Oh, for real? You got to watch it on the big screen to make sure it looks good on the yeah, big screen. Yeah, taking a little roadie with you. I have it in my hand. Do we need to get, do we need to get him an a, a Uber? <laughs> well, I've got a car downstairs. Oh, good. Cassie's oh, like, where are you? I'm like, I'm at Bert's still. <laughs> so then, so then, what, so then let's talk about the premiere real quick and we'll wrap it up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you sit in the room and watch it? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, are you? I was gonna do coke in the bathroom. No way, no, man. No, you don't want to do that. You gotta feel the energy. You gotta feel right. the love, and the right. that's gonna All be right. the warmest crowd you ever see it with. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, nice. Totally. Nice. Where are people oh, at Westwood? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Prime a great theater. It's a great yeah, theater. Yeah. I saw it's Creed even... two at that theater. I saw it. It was the you? most in, in no Creed. I saw the first Creed, and it was the most in electric screening I've ever been a part of. People really? were out of their seats cheering. So if we don't achieve that, we failed. All right. Yeah. So we got to get them hyped. And then, and then, are you guys getting any celebrity appearances for the premiere? Working on it. Who? I can't. I can't say. Uh, what if they don't show? Me. Have you ever yeah. watched Drink Champs? Drink Champs. No. I'm. It's. I'm leaning pretty heavy into this for promotion. No. What it's one of my favorite Champs? podcasts ever. It's. It's. Uh, these two dudes, uh, DJ Effin and uh, Nori, who Noriega, who. They just get hip hop stars hammered, okay, and they just talk hip hop. Well, and then I'm gonna go and talk about the movie down there. Yeah, where is that? Where's the table? Oh, Miami. Miami. Yeah, yeah. Press is interesting. Fun. Press yeah. is interesting. Well, that's what I always yeah. tell people. Actors, they get you know being on set, making the movie. That's like part of the job. They get paid for the publicity because that's a grueling fucking. You know, I heard Johnny Depp. Well, so I'll tell you. I'll wrap this up, but I tell you the thing that's very vulnerable is because it, if it fails or succeeds as a group, right? But when you're promoting it, it's just you. And so everyone starts to pick you apart. And obviously, as a comic, I'm going to mm -hmm. tell some stories I've told before. I'll tell a couple stories. about, And then people go, ah, oh, God damn it, he's telling the same fucking story. Like, there's some real internet heads that, like, follow everything you do yeah. and comment on it. And it, it's, it comes with the territory. In my head, I go, yeah, I would love to be the comic that had fucking brand new stories for every fucking podcast i would love to be the guy that i would love to be the guy that is fucking great i'm just burt it gets in my head the only thing i'll think and i had this feeling yesterday i had a change of momentum was um was i am promoting this movie for everyone that worked on it i am promoting it for all of us i'm doing all the work for all of us so i have to look at myself as it's not that we're this don't take anything personally this is anyone that has a problem with you this is part of the territory yeah so i heard johnny depp one time saying i'm all he's like on letterman i'm only doing this for the people that made the movie i'm not doing this for me i don't give a fuck about this or something like that to that effect yeah. and i was like i was like that's so silly why don't we you just want to be famous well i think that's what a lot of outsiders think is like you're doing this to be famous right i'm doing this because we spent three months in serbia that was the best three months of my fucking life for real and I'm talking about better than shit. I've done a lot of cool shit. And, and ultimately, I'd like to do it again. I'd like yeah. to do that again. Yeah. And, I, and that's self-serving. But all those people that committed three months that maybe didn't have the best time of their lives, maybe maybe really fucking worked really hard and, and, and all those yeah. people. And, and like you look at, uh, what's her name, just started, is directing a huge movie now. Uh, uh, Milena, Milena yeah, is yeah. directing a huge yeah. movie now, yeah. and and if this movie does well, it helps everyone's careers. Totally, and it, and if it helps everyone's careers, and you think so, the biggest hit I got to get is a couple people in my comments on Instagram being like, "Dude, I've heard this story five times. Enough, buddy. We get it. You have a fucking movie. like. If that's what I have to deal with, hundred yeah. percent, I'm in. Hundred yeah. percent, I'm in. I'm gonna fucking go full tilt. A little bit of Adderall, something else, <laughs> Xanax, and fucking leverage it. <laughs> I'm going to fucking send it. I'm going to fucking send it. Good. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. I love you guys more than you'll oh, ever know. I ha you well, are thank you for trusting us and yeah, listening well, obviously to our, our bullshit. And, and because, look, I loved it. I don't remember. I think I was in North Carolina with you. Yeah. 
And you started talking, you did like the extended thing where you went deeper into kind of like taking the machine into the movie making process. And I felt so honored to kind of hear you talk about kind of what that meant to you. And and it made me in that moment, I remember I was backstage, I remember Cousin A with the camera and yeah. we were trying to do the, the, the thing. For, it was a little pickup yeah, for little the pickup. end. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. And it and it made me feel really honored to be a part of it because yeah. look, I remember watching you at flappers <laughs> 10 years ago whatever it was you know and to think that i'm sitting here across from this beautiful studio that you have it's unbelievable Bert. yeah it really is and 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 not everyone you are a unique talent and you're a blessing to the movie business and comedy and for you to trust this guy and and me yeah to tell the story hundred percent. I feel really honored. So, and, and everyone at legendary feels that way. You know, you got the guy at the top who fucking loves you, you know, Mary loves you, you know, everyone appreciates everything that you do. And I, and I always say you're fearless and I know there's apprehension and stuff and I, but, but to the outside world, you aren't scared to fail. And that's what makes you different from a lot of these other jokers. Wow. So, um, you know, and and I got to work with this dude too, Atencio, who's not so fat, by the way. <laughs> just letting everyone know. Yeah. Thanks. I, no. <laughs> I'm just saying Thank it's you. a different it's a difference of what, you know. You told me the story. Gaga, Gaga. I'm bringing it back. Gaga, <laughs> you know? I'm trying to do a payoff. It didn't come out. It's, it's a terrible, uh, it's a terrible, terrible. Uh, no, he was right, though. Good directors are fat. That's true. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, anyway. Was, I eat my feelings. But no, I have, to, I, I have to echo that a little bit and say that, like, two most gratifying moments for me on this entire process were when I saw the movie in such a way that I was like, okay, it still needs work, but it's going to be a good movie. Like, I like this movie. That, for me, I make movies for myself, first and foremost, if I like something that I make, I'm happy. I don't really give a shit what the rest of the world thinks about it. But in this case, when you saw the movie and you had the emotional reaction that you had to it and you walked out feeling good about it, that did make me very, very, very happy. Because ultimately, the story began and ended with you. And much like Kale said, I got to learn so much from Kale. I got to learn so much from you. I think we all learned from each other. It was a beautiful experience. At the end of the day, I come out of it with that experience. And then I also have a movie that I enjoy. I really, I'm so far removed from caring what the rest of the world thinks about it. Would it be great if it's successful? Of course, that's fantastic. I would love that. And my career would really like that. But I, I like the movie. I like that you like the movie. That's that's what it's all about. That, if, if, if. If the takeaway is, I had the funnest fucking time in my life for three months, the funnest time of my life, and I love this movie. I can watch this movie. I want this to be known. If I get into a motorcycle accident and I am a quadriplegic, oh God, and I can't Jesus. speak, and I can't speak, and I can't speak, play the machine on repeat every day, all day, in my fucking. That's a fucking huge testament. And, that, and if you want us yes. to stop, blink twice, blink yeah. twice, and we'll know. That means please that stop means playing the machine every day. Yeah, yeah. The please. I'm ready for something else. Put on like, quantum oh, leap, and then I'll blink twice <laughs> and go and bring it back to the machine. Yeah, bring it back to the machine. Or do two. Yeah. Or do two. <laughs> Or animal pets. <laughs> animal pets. Animal pets. Yeah. Animal pets. All right. That's a movie. I love you guys. I love you. Love, I love you, you too. Guys. <laughs>